I'd like to give all acknowledgement, honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh Yahweh Bashim Yahushai is the name of the Heavenly Father and his beloved son. Yahweh meaning he is, he exists. That's the most high's name. And Yahweh Shai meaning he deliverer. That's who the world would ignorantly call Christ, Jesus, Jesus. But those are his true biblical names. And you should use them, pray to them. And uh, double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS that have taught us this truth and continue to teach us this truth. Right. And shalom to y'all brothers sincerely pushing this word and to the household of faith, shalom. So we're going to go right into it. We're going to go into prophecies. We're going to talk about the, the times that we're, we're in right now. Because the Lord is, is he's close to um, returning to the earth. But all these stuff that's happening, the Lord is close to returning, man. Second Thessalonians 2 and 1. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Yahweh Shai and Mashiach, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by sword, or slakia, nor by word, nor by letters, as from us, as that as that the day of Yahweh Shai is at hand. Yeah, don't be shaken by my my mind, move. Uh, having doubt, you know, uh, having fear, you know, uh, letting your thoughts get to you. Know that the day of the Lord is is at hand, man. Everything that's happening is because the day of the Lord is at hand. All right. Well, these are all the signs that the Lord gave. You know, and if you're watching, it's it's plainly seen. You know. Well, let's, let's jump right into Matthew 24. Which we want and, to the, and the Lord, he t he gave us clues to when he will return. He himself didn't know when he was going to return, but he gave us clues to like, these are what you should look for for my return. And now we're seeing it, none of us should be like, oh shit, you know, oh, man, what's, uh, you know, start panicking, just calm down, focus on finishing, focus on doing your, doing the work, man. That's right. uh, Matthew 24 and 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when, when shall these things be, or what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? Hey, the Lord spoke about the kingdom so much, they were convinced that the Lord was going to take the kingdom then and there. You know, even in Acts 2, when the Lord, he came back after, uh, um, you know, he came back, he was resurrected, they are like, Will thou, uh, Lord, restore the kingdom at this time? So, it, go ahead, go ahead, come on and bring it up. Acts 1 and 3. It says, To whom also he showed himself alive after his passion by many inflammable proofs, being seen of them forty days, and speaking of the things pertaining to the kingdom of, of the Most High. And being assembled together with them, commanded them that they should not depart from Jerusalem, we wait for the promise of the Father, which said, He ye have heard of me. For John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days hence. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, would thou, would thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father hath put in his own power. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit so, is... So, so, like it, bro. so in other words, it wasn't that time. Right. You know, the time is set for when Yahweh uh, um, gives the green light to Yahweh Shai to come take this world. But the scriptures also give us clue. It said when this, this word is preached to the four corners, that's when the end gonna come. So we have the, the insight but we don't know the day or the time. We can't tell you. That's right. No man knows the time or day, neither you have a shy. But like the brothers going into in Matthew 24, there are a set of list of prophecies that we are to look out for. Yeah? And like, hey, wars, rumors of wars, earthquakes in diverse places, signs in the heavens. All three of those happened just in this past week, man. <laughs> all the same, so that we gotta be close. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah the solar eclipse today, this morning. The solar eclipse. Any y'all seen it? Nah, I ain't seen it. Damn, bro, I was up early. Yeah. Yeah. You gotta watch it, you know, you gotta go to the, on the, on the web and watch the, 
watch it from different uh, telescopes, you know. People record it, you know. I've seen it in that way, but I didn't see it personally. Hey, bro, our people, um, the Mayans, the Aztecs, they used to look for signs like eclipse to when they want to uh, put a king in, in the rulership seat. They look for those things because those are how you how about Shemel Shai give signs to men that something's about to happen. Right. You know? That's actually going to be another one six months from now. I think in, in uh, April 2024, there's going to be a total lunar eclipse. So, man, you can't you can't deny these prophecies, man. You bro, can't I deny this book. Go ahead. I never seen so many blood moons ever in my right. life, bro. Yeah. Like, you know something's about to happen. It's normal now. So, jumping down to verse 6. And he shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. But all these things must must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So yeah, we just had that major war that just broke off uh, Hamas just last week. You know, women were getting raped. You know, people were getting kidnapped. People they were walking from door to door, just mowing people down. And all that's going to come to America too, man. You know, that invasion. Yeah. Letting in a lot of migrants, all these Africans, letting a lot of Northern Kingdom all come. All the floodgates are open. You know, people are saying that. There could be sleeper cells amongst them. You know, we don't know. But hey, America's going to be invaded. That's the only way you really can invade America. Yeah, you know? they're being assigned to different states. Yeah. And, it's, and it's only males. Oh, yeah. It's only males that they're taking in. So we'll see what happens. Great yeah. terror is coming to this place. Yep. And they said that over, at least over 2 million of them ever since like 2021 has been coming here. Men fit. At a certain, they got good height. They they look like, you know, they could handle weapons. You know. Yeah, military age. You know, and a lot of people are pissed off about that. So a lot of that racial tension is even rising more and more. You know. Yeah. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that you be not troubled, right? We're not supposed to be afraid of these things, right? That's not the emotion that's evoked. It's not fear. Okay. We get excited over these things, but we understand that. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing gonna happen like the destruction ain't gonna happen until the MOTB comes, man. Right. Yeah, but you see how everything's already being set. The oh, stage set. is being set for World War III. Yeah, tensions are are are, are, uh, are there, uh -huh. you know, threats are being made. Right. Okay. It says, For all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences. And earthquakes in diverse places. Hey, which war causes famines? It it, it takes up all the resources. And, yeah, uh, go ahead. like with uh, Ukraine and Russia, right? Yeah. Ukraine was a uh, 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 country that's mostly uh, uh, they, t they they send wheat to other countries. Yeah. And you had a deal between uh, Russia and uh, Ukraine, uh, Russia and America, and I think Ukraine, to allow the wheat boats uh, to to go through. But they soon, uh, Russia cut that off, man, you know? And that's going to affect the whole world because they're one of the largest uh, producer of wheat. You know, everything has wheat. Bread, from drinks, uh, beer, you know? Right. It says, all these are the beginning of sorrows. So this is part of the birth pains. Yeah. This is what the, the world is about to go through right now. Of what they're currently going through right now, a lot of suffering. You know, the rumors of wars. There's, there's wars we don't even know about that's happening. Wars over there in Africa, where the the, the Hamites pretty much say, "Kill the war, kill the war." You know, there's wars that the media is not even showing people. Like a, a chick at my job, she came in crying about, "Oh, Turkey is attacking my country," and I was like, "What's going on?" She's like, "Armenia is under attack." Yeah. You know? She's like, terrorists is blowing up shit. And oh, we don't bro. even know about that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Crying and shit. My country is in war. Okay. Can I read something? Yeah, go ahead. I did a lesson on this a while back. Um, you have in the Middle East and North Africa, you have more than 45 armed conflicts. Dang. Africa, more than 35 armed, armed conflicts. Asia, 20, 21 armed co conflicts. This is, uh, keep in mind, this is before uh, Israel and Palestine, so. If that's been an ongoing conflict. Right. Yeah. Europe, seven armed conflicts. 
Latin America, six armed conflicts. So there's war all around the world. And these are the things that Yahweh Shah warned us about, man. All right, hey, because these small wars that you have right now, all it's going to lead up to is that major world war. Yeah, bro. Okay. A lot of these countries, they've signed petitions with major countries, yeah. like even Jamaica, the islands. If Russia go to war, if China go to war, they, they've, they've signed some type of deal where they will send troops to those major countries, man. So this war is going to drag everybody into it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's what NATO's about, you know? That's why everybody wants to join that NATO to be under the U.S. protection. And get good deals on merchandise and stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got a free set. Oh, go ahead. You about to say something? No. Oh. The second Ezra 16 and 74. Hear, O ye my beloved, saith the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt, for the Most High is your guide. And you can put yourself in there, you, you know. You can, when you read that, put yourself, you know, uh, in those, in those. We're, we're headed into those days, man. Yeah. Look, look at how Ukraine already affected uh, America. Now we're damn near spending eight dollars a gas, seven dollars a gas. Food is going up. You know, the elites they create war to weary out the people, and we're we're weary out the resources. You know? yeah, but these, these things must come to pass. So never fear, never doubt. You know, don't be sh soon shaken in your mind like we read in Second, Th Second Thessalonians. You know, but the Most High is your guide, man. These things must come to pass for our, our kingdom to come in, man. Yeah. It it's, not the, uh, it's a good thing that you said that. A lot of people are shaking their mind right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We're all worried about uh, World War III being drafted into World War Three. <laughs> yeah, because the, the last draft, I believe it happened with, during World War II, but it happened before the war took place. Before, before uh, they were, uh, they went, to, they went, uh, they went into that war. So you have everyone worried about getting drafted into uh, uh, in this World War Three because they see all these conflicts happening, man, and they know what what it could lead to. The Vietnam War too. Right. Yeah. The you know, Vietnam War. They wanted people to go. You know, a lot of Jake had to go. Yeah. They wanted Ali to go. Yeah. I remember yeah. That. But hey, there's definitely going to be a war because they're projecting in this next major war. 3,000 to 3,500 dead bodies a day. Damn. So they're going to have to. Yeah, man. It's I don't know how they're going to project that. That's, that's Joel <laughs> 2 and 20, you know? That's just the estimate what they uh, yeah, what they <laughs> give you, you know? It, it, it probably wouldn't be way more than that. Yeah. Triple that. You know? Yeah. Hey, so, yeah, they have to have that draft, man. Hey, that's, what, hey, that's why Esau's predicting numbers, because in his head, he believes he's the populating the earth for war. But it's prophecy for World War III to happen, you know? It's, uh, Go ahead. it's uh, Luke 50, uh, 12 and 54. And he said he said also to the to the people, when you see a cloud rise up out of the east, I mean, Salah, when you see a cloud rise out of the west, straight away you say, there cometh the shower, and so it is. And when you see the south wind blow, you say, there will be heat, and it cometh to pass. Ye hypocrites. You can discern the face of the sky and of the earth, but how is it that you you do not discern this time? Hell yeah, all people are hypocrites, man. They can tell what weather they they're, when they when a lot of our people travel, they can tell what weather is going to be in that city. They can tell you know all of that. They just yeah. discern the face of the the constellation and all that. But when it comes to prophecies, they can't discern it. Like this dude Mayweather talking about oh i'm all for israel and we should restore peace you know they, I mean, he has to do that because the people that give him his money are who yeah the rats yeah man so yeah. yeah so all of our people you know they could tell what's going on with the weather but they can't discern that world war three is going to happen that there's going to be a draft that yahweh shah is about to come back to the earth man Not just war they can't discern that it's the end yeah bro. they can't discern that all these strains uh, events happening around the world are culminating the end. You know, we're living in a return of our time of the return of our Lord. Our people don't, they could care less about that. Yeah. yeah. You, can, you can see it in the comments when people, um, NFL, basketball, uh, TV networks, shows, they all like, oh, in a couple more years, 
this is going to get better. A couple more years, we're going to get such and such, more funding. You know, these people don't believe that the end is going to come. They don't believe, ultimately, they don't believe that America's going to go down, man. Yeah, bro. You know? Can't see it, man. I got to seven. They don't want America to go down. Jeremiah 8 and 7. Yeah, the stork in, he in the heaven knoweth her appointed times. And the turtle and the crane and the swallow observe the times of their coming. But my people know not the judgment of the Lord. So these different animals that need to migrate when, when the cha when the season change, they observe the time. They don't want this time to move. They got to dodge. Right. But our people, here it is, all these signs are happening, but they don't know it's, it's, it's the time to get right with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, to escape the storm that is coming, man. Here it is, like the brothers just mentioned, bringing out different Same sports. You have Jake that can tell you a stat from their favorite player. They, you have, you have Jake that can predict. Uh, uh, who can go to the Super Bowl or who can go to the NBA Finals, okay? But they can't, they, they, they can't predict what's coming, man, to this place. They can't predict the great evils, the great trouble that's coming to this place, despite all the signs that is happening right in front of your eyes. And the reason why is because most of them are blinded. They're, they're in darkness. When the scriptures mention that now it's the high time to wake out of sleep, for our salvation is nearer than we believe. While our people are, part are partaking in uh, rioting, they, they, they're in the spirit of mirth. They're in the spirit of trying to make it in this world. When, when this world is getting ready to perish, man. When this world's about to change, man. Okay? Your call. Hey, man. I, I missed it. I miss you too, bro. I see you one more time. Yeah, I'll push you some of the stuff. You doing good, bro? Yeah, I'll push you some of the stuff. Brother, but I don't think you're going to be going or what? Yeah, man. So we're in a season where the Lord's about to return, man. We're almost at that appointed time for um, the Throgma to be initiated, mandated. And we're almost at that point in time for World War III. Yeah. Which, you know, a lot of things gonna happen before that, the, the nukes happen, you know? Yeah, kind of. Tom and Jacob's trouble, our reputation. You know, it's gonna be complete chaos out here, man. Yeah, it's time for the word, man. Huh? It's time for the word. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, ain't no way we're gonna be teaching under this condition. Bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's... See, that's, Esau gonna, he's gonna persecute us. Hey, that's something I want to go into too, uh, because if you mention uh, um, Hamas, oh, yeah. like if you, they're trying to group everybody with that type of mindset that speaks for Palestine as a part of Hamas, and uh, that's one way Esau could persecute us, you know. You know, yeah, yeah. That's, that's prophecy too. But I got a good proof. But he, but he has to lie and use deception. Yeah. Because yeah. there's no way we're connected to them, man. Right? We're not violent. So Amos 8 and 11, Behold, days come, saith the Lord, power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall be able to find it. Just so like Ali Head was going into, you know, we're not going to be on these streets no more when martial law pops off, you know, time and Jacob's trouble, our contention, all that's going on, man, when they're trying to persecute us, man, we ain't going to be out here no more, man. So there is going to be a famine of the word, you know? Hey, that, that's, you got something to say? Yeah, and that's going to be the time where uh, everybody's going to want to hear it, man, but it's going to be too late. Yeah, because all that chaos that's going on, yeah. they're going to be seeking answers, and the church isn't going to be able to provide those answers. Hey, so, uh, so, uh, hey the scripture says, in affliction, they shall see me early. So when a hey, Jake is catching pure hell, when Esau come down in great wrath, that's when they, they're going to want to seek Yahweh by Shimei Shai. It'll be too late, like it says. They're, they're going to wander from sea to sea, uh, from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro. So they're going to be looking all over the place, man, trying to find prophets, man, the men of the Lord that were out here on the streets. But, you know, the men of the Lord ain't going to be out there no more, man. Hey, people are going to travel distance to try to find the, the prophets. I remember seeing them in LA somewhere. 
they going people going go crazy looking for the men of the Lord, man. The scripture said they show a wonderful, uh, they show wonderful uh, uh, wine. Uh, there should be a cry for wine in the streets. So people going to be going and seeking like, man, what's going on? I want to know, what do I do? How could I protect my family? What, what is next? What's coming next? You know? Yeah. But it's going to be too late. Too late. All that, all that time to take up trouble, you know, all that hell and destruction, that's for you, man. <laughs> you ain't getting the truth now. If you're not hiding under the protection of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai right now, man, then that's for you, man. The Lord said in, in their affliction, they shall seek me early, man. Our people going to want to know the names of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. They're going to want to know how to, to not die, pretty much. You know, how to, how to live. But it's gonna to be too late. The doors of mercy is gonna be closed. Yeah, ain't no, ain't no, ain't no way on how to live in that moment. You gotta to turn to the Lord now. You got something? I was looking for something. You're not gonna be able to run to Egypt for help, go to the government for help. The government should be trying to kill you, man. Yeah, it's be like a madman sparing none. Yeah, what Egypt doing it to you? I'm yeah, sorry. yeah. You know, you have to fight off this government. You have to fight off. It'll be uh, sleeper cells, possibly, however it's gonna go down. You know? UN troops. UN troops. You got to fight off these militia groups that are gonna try to take your chill kids, to traffic your kids, you wanna traffic to, your woman. You're gonna have to fight off the, the average citizen. For food and bread. You know, they're gonna bust up in your house for food. Because there is gonna be a famine of, of an actual food. You said what? Jeremiah 83. Yeah, because our people, they have chosen death, man. They've chosen sin and a sinful life. They didn't choose, well, you can't choose the Lord, but they didn't choose to seek Yahweh by Shimon al Shai to receive mercy. So, Jeremiah 8.3. And death shall be chosen rather than life by all the residue of them that remain of this evil family, which remain in all the places where I have driven them, saith the Lord of hosts. Yeah, man, no matter where our people was from ancient to now, they have chosen death rather than life. And life is Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai said, I am the way, the truth, and life. And our people have chosen death. And the scripture says the wages of sin is death. So guess what? Our people going to receive death. That's it. The Lord going to put them to death, man. But I have something. Go ahead. This is 2nd uh, Etchers 1 and 25. Seeing ye have forsaken me, I will forsake you also. When ye desire me to be gracious unto you, I shall have no mercy upon you. Man, I just did a lesson and I brought that out mm. yesterday. Look. See? So, hey, like it says, uh, they shall be in pitiful case. They're going to be seeking for mercy. And when the time, when the Lord brings judgment upon them, man, our people are going to be seeking for mercy from the Most High. But the Most High is going to show them no mercy, man. Okay, because why? Because that's when the doors of mercy is closed. The doors of mercy is open right now. Okay? For for our people to come come here to the word of the Lord, repent, get their mind right, and open for the mercy of Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah. What does it say in Isaiah 55 and 7? It says that if you forsake your wicked ways, and your unrighteous thoughts, the Lord will have mercy upon you and will pardon you for all your transgressions. But our people don't want to acknowledge their ways. They don't want to repent from their ways, man. All right? So when the time of judgment comes, they're going to look for mercy. They're going to go to they're going to go to these streets looking for the prophets. They're not going to find them, man. Yeah, okay? They don't have a web either. Right. Yeah. You know? That precept. The Proverbs 1. 25, but ye have said at not all my counsel, and would none of my reproof. Hey, what, what we're doing right now is telling you the plans of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. That's what counsel means. We're, we're giving you counsel of what the Lord is about to do. The, the Lord said, I set you up as a watchman. You know, uh, give them warning from me. So we're warning you. We're telling you what the Lord is about to do. So it's... It's not up to you to take heed anyways. It's up to the Lord, but our people ain't gonna take heed. Oh, 
This is uh, Isaiah 55 and 6. It says, Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Shai, while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Yeah. So call ye upon him while he is near. And how do you know that the Lord is near? By the signs that you're seeing right here. You know, the prophets out here telling you, man, giving you warning from the Most High. That's how you know he's near. But those doors are, are, are slowly closing, man. Yeah, you, you still got videos going up. You still yeah. got exhort, uh, ex uh, videos that exhort brothers. You still got warning videos. You see the prophets here. They could be, they, they're on the street, live in person, and they're still on the internet, man. But soon, there's gonna be a trap. There's gonna be all type of things happening out here. You're supposed to seek the Lord. Yeah. Before the day of evil uh, um, draw nigh, like it tells you, you know, if a brother could get Ecclesiastes 12, the Lord says, seek him before the uh, day of evils or the year come, you know? And right now, we're telling you, because a lot of things is happening in the spirit right now, man. And it's like, you want to be safe serving the Lord, or you want to be asked out with no mercy, you know? Uh, and it's, it's going to happen quick. Just like 9-11 happened, quick. Just like lockdowns happen, quick, you know? This next terrorist attack, whatever is coming up, it's gonna happen quick, man. Hey, I got a little more. This is, it says, uh, verse seven, let let the wicked forsake his way. Yep. And wicked, wicked Israelites. Exactly. It's not talking about the wicked Esau, okay? Because the Esau can't forsake his way. He was made to be the wicked, okay? He can't, every, repent. he can't repent. Every fiber of his, of his makeup is wickedness. Okay? He says, And the unrighteous man his thoughts, and let him return unto the Lord, Yahweh, Shimei, Yahweh, Shai. Esau can't return unto the Lord because they were never with the Lord. That's right. Okay? And he will have mercy upon him and to our power, for he will abundantly pardon. He's only gonna pardon for the elect that returns. And what does what pardon mean? It means to forgive. Yeah. He said he would abundantly forgive you, man. Yeah. If, if you seek him early, you seek him. Two thirds of our people aren't, aren't gonna seek him, man. Hey, the Lord the Lord don't want them to seek him. That's right. Scripture right. say that uh, he don't want them to be converted and healed. He want to destroy you, niggas. Yep. And, and Second Peter it says, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. And that's going to be the elect, all right? There's a spiritual draft going on right now. This is a draft right now. We're, we're drafting the Lord's men, you know? And it's up to um, you Israelites if you, if you want to take heat. Well, really, it ain't up to you. Really, it ain't up to nobody about nothing. It's almost unfair to Jake, but it is fair. Nah, it's but not it's unfair. unfair. It's the word of the Lord. That's the will. He called you from the beginning, before the earth was even created. Uh, he created the the elect. He had his elect already elected. Yeah. Okay, and we're just we're just the actors in this movie playing it out. It's already happened. The wicked has already been destroyed. The elect has already been sealed. The elect already got the victory over the beast. Okay, we've already seen the America burning. It's already done. Okay. Lord willing, I'm up, and all of, the, all of these brothers up here of, of that number, you know? Plus, well, hey, it's all for them anyway, because what did they say? They wanted to release a murderer rather than Yahweh Shai. Oh, they yeah. They said, let Yahweh Shai's blood be upon our children. Yeah. But yeah, this, it's all for them any damn way. Right? That's, that's, that's just today, bro. Like, what, uh, one of they homies that, homies in jail that say, free this guy, free my nigga this, mm -hmm. free my nigga that. You know, even though he did a crime. Yeah. You know, like, uh, like uh, YM Melly committed murder, right? Everyone's saying made free a him. Song about it. Yeah, he even made a song, Murder on My Mind and shit like that. People are saying free him. Uh, TK, that nigga, robbing, robbing, uh, robbing and killing his own people. Yeah. When he got locked up, people were saying free TK, you know, all that shit, man. man they, want, they wanted Don't Barabbas go. rather than the Lord. They wanted a murderer rather than the Lord. Right. Hey, but when they said let our blood be a upon us and our children, they mark themselves. You know? that, that shows that they really hate the Lord because the Lord didn't do anything. He didn't have any marks, any blemishes on him. He was 
most uh, the most fairest, honest man that ever walked the planet, man. Okay, and they saying to 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 kill him for what? Why? Because well, their deeds were wicked. Well, okay. Yeah, the prophecy had to happen. Exactly. And the envy. That's, ulti shot, that's ultimately what it is. Yeah. Ultimately, prophecy had to happen. Yahweh Shai came to be a sacrifice. Yeah. And, and forgiveness is going to be on all Jake. That's right. You know? So the scriptures say the creature was subject to vanity. So it's all the word of the Lord, man. Yeah. I mean, our people are wicked, but the Lord has them wicked right now. That's why uh, John called um, Yahweh Shah when he saw him. John the Baptist, the, the Lamb of the Most High, the Lamb of God. Take it away the sin it's of the world. Right. right. Not all the world, but Israel, man. Because really, the Lord has, that's the, like Edwards is like, basically, like, why did you make us on point from the jump? Yeah. That's not how the Lord wanted it to be, man. That right. is true. And then the, they told him, uh, uh, left the seed of wickedness. To Adam, yep. so it was all it was all set up, you know. It's set up. It's set up for us to know wickedness and righteousness firsthand. Okay, but we judging other nations. We are gonna know what wickedness is from a first person stance, not right. from hearsay. We don't know how to be merciful. Exactly. Um, we will understand the cause and effects of, of the actual law. Right. Why the Most High set up these laws, man? We understand that now. But just like the Lord, the Lord used Esau to punish us, right? And he had no say so in it. Right. Yeah, that's true. The Lord is going to get you jakes for being wicked. Yeah, the Lord had you, you know, ultimately he has you in the dark, but he's going to still judge you. You know, he's still, like the people that got caught up in the flood. You still got judged, you know, okay. if, that, if that makes sense. Think about it, in, uh, in the wilderness, the Lord said, um, I, I set before you life and death. Choose ye life that you may live. And what is life? Keeping the laws, statutes, and, and, and commandments. And our people have that choice, but they choose death rather than life. Which, at the end of the day, it was programmed for us to go that route. Yeah, that's okay. why the curses were longer than the blessings. Right. Mm -hmm. If we was going to experience the curses first, of course, because if we experience the blessings first, we're going to be all good. But the Lord has to change us, man, ultimately. All right? Uh, uh, the Lord has to change us, man. Take us out of these vile-ass bodies. Yeah. You know, give us some God bodies. Yep. Yeah. And, and he said that throughout the scriptures, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, yeah. you know. First Corinthians. Hebrews. You, you know what I was thinking about, thinking about right now? Uh, you know how like, the Lord called us, our people, a wild vine? Right. Like, wow. a, a vine can't choose to become wild, you know? Or, or a vine can't choose, like, if it's going to be a perfect grape. Like, the elective uh, uh, mentioned that. Right. Just like our people, they can't choose the lot that the Lord gave them right. to be that way, you know? So, yeah. Yeah, you can't, you can't choose if you want to be the elect. you got to yeah. be sanctified from the beginning. Yeah. And you're going to have the works to match that, 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 that uh, spirit. Just like the two-thirds, they got certain behavior about themselves. Yeah. You know, and the, the one third has a certain behavior about themselves. You know? We're going to get uh, Judges 10 and 14. So we got Ecclesiastes. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, like, Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh. I'm sorry, brother. We're the Hebrew Israelites. Oh, but what it, what, oh, no, I don't want to be on TV. You ain't got to be on TV, girl. But what it, what it, what it, what it, like, well, we teach the Bible, and we're telling our people, the so-called Negroes, the Latinos, and Native Americans, that we're, we're the Israelites. We're the chosen people of God. Okay? And the Lord looks at us. He don't look like no white man. All right? So you're an Israelite. What's, were you Mexican? No. What are you? El Salvadorian? Costa Rican. Costa Rican? Oh. But I'm confused because the Israelites are Jewish. From well, Israel. see, that, that's the whole thing. The so-called white man has lied to everybody. Have everyone thinking that he's a Jew. Nah, we're the real Jews. We're the chosen people. It's okay for them to self, for them to call themselves the chosen people, but it's a problem when we call ourselves the chosen people. So not even the Palestinians are the chosen people? Only these people on the side. Exactly. 
You, you see Zebulon? Yeah. So you are Israelite from the tribe of Zebulon. The Native Americans are Israelites, the Mexicans, the, the Guatemalans, the El Salvadorians, Puerto Ricans, the Haitians, the Jamaicans. So where was Jesus born? He was born in Israel. But we're here on the Western Hemisphere in captivity. That's why we're at the bottom. And the whole world dislikes us. That's why we're in poverty. That's why, you know, where our people are, are in gangs. You know, we live in the in the in the bad uh, uh, side of the city. That's why we're all in the prisons. Our people are all on drugs. The Lord cursed us. Yeah. No. The camera's on me. What's going on? You're a Christian. What's going on? I'm a Christian, so I was just curious because of the Palestinians saying how the Israelites stole their land. So I don't know. I'm just like kind of curious. No, well, they call themselves Israelis. But that has nothing to do with what we're teaching. Oh. All right. The Lord said that he's going to have a, a World War III happening over there in the Middle East. So that's why all that tension is brewing up over these last, last decade. So it's about to be World War III. Uh -huh. yeah. All right, and we're living in a time where the Lord's coming back. That's how the Lord really looks, okay? How? Right there. Dark He's a dark-skinned man from the tribe of Judah. Who's seen him? The men of the Lord seen him. Who? The men of the Lord, the men in the Bible. His oh. disciples seen him. They Is did. that the same Bible from the Catholic Church and the Christians? It's the King James Version. I don't know what they, I don't know what they read in there. Yeah. You're, so you're a Christian. You're not Catholic, right? I'm Christian. Okay. Not Catholic, but I was just referring to Catholicism because, um, anyway, anyway, I just, I can't articulate it. I was just you never, curious. You like, never, you never, I saw you guys dressed up, like, you, you know. never read Revelation, the first chapter? Hold on, let me get my print. Somebody grab Revelation 4 real quick. No, they want You never read Revelation, the first chapter? No, the what? Revelation, the book of Revelation, the first chapter. No. All right. I mean, I don't well, you got to get in your book. You got to get in the Bible. But yeah, stay out of the churches. Let's get the Revelation, the first chapter, real quick for it. Revelation 1 and 13. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. Right? The Messiah, right? The Messiah. His name is Yahabashah. His name is not Jesus or Yeshua. None of that. Yahabashah is his true name. Clothed with, clothed with a garment down to the foot. And gird about the paps with, with a go, golden girdle. Right now, hold on. Somebody get the image of Caesar Borgia. Somebody Google that real quick. Is it on the back of that? No, 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 no. Somebody Google that real quick because we're going to make a comparison. Go ahead, bro. Read again. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the foot. Right. And gird about the paps with a golden girdle. Keep going, bro. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Right, now there's a certain image that they they tell you that how the Lord looked, right? Can you describe it to me? Oh, the wool. It's because a white person's hair is not wool. Not no, like I'm wool. asking you, like, like when I was, when we all grew up in this world, right? Yeah. If I If I was to Google Jesus Christ, a white man's going to pop up with, with, with blonde hair and blue eyes. Let me see what you got, bro. That's how, that's how they tell you the, how the Lord looks. Well, that's the Catholic Church tells you that's how the world. And the Christian Church. The whole yeah. world tells you that's the, the Christian world. Church tell you that same thing, right? Yeah. But the scriptures describe him as having woolly hair. Who has woolly hair? Yeah. The Egyptians too. What do you mean? The Egyptians have like woolly hair too. No, the so-called black man has woolly hair. Uh -huh. That's an afro. Oh. That's what woolly hair is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's describing it. It doesn't mean it's that's exactly what it is, but it's describing his hair. Yeah. Right? Go ahead, I'll read again that woolly part. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So his head and his hairs were white like wool. He didn't have no long dog streaky hair. Like they tell us, right? Go ahead. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. But in the church they tell you that he has blue eyes. Go ahead. And and his feet like unto fine brass as if they burn in a furnace so his feet were like unto fine brass as if they burn in a furnace describing his skin color that's extremely dark so the lord was a he would he you if you saw him if he walked by you you consider him a so-called black man yeah 
We say so-called because that's not who we are. All right, we lost our identity. The Lord describes us as lost, the lost children of, 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 of Israel, the lost sheep. So you've been told you was Costa Rican. Nah, you're an Israelite from the tribe of Zebulon. That's who you are. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. You got something? Go uh, it's Revelation 2 and 9. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Right, the real Israelites are in poverty. But our people, they do sell them so they, they sell their souls, meaning they, they uh compromise their integrity and they do all type of nastiness so they can have a bunch of money. Okay, so don't confuse that with being rich. That's not being rich. They still getting paid by the so-called white man. Right? Go ahead, read it again. I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. Right. And I know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews. I know the blasphemy of them that say they are Jews. And are not. And are not. Go but, ahead. But are of the synagogue of Satan. That's speaking about them Israelis. The ones you were describing. Yeah. They're not, they're not Jews. They're Edomites. They're the damn devil. Yeah. All right. Racism is in the scriptures. Mm -hmm. All right. Do you know that God hates the so-called white man? Oh. Hey. Yeah. You never heard? Hey. Oh, hey. Hate is a good thing. Get it. <laughs> hate is a good thing. You don't you don't you don't hate people? No. Isn't it no but God's hungry. Wait, I have a question. It's because my, my friend she's hungry and she's pregnant and I have to get her. Alright, alright. But what's up with the what is this? What? Your bracelet. Oh she's a stone. It's a gemstone. What do you think? Cardinal. I think it's a uh, cardinal. Oh, okay. Does the Bible talk about that? Yes. 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 So, yeah. The kingdom of yeah. heaven is gonna be filled with stones. Yeah. They use it for wickedness. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You can use things for righteousness. Yeah. You can use things for wickedness. Right? <laughs> like like an anal, like a, like a butthole. You use it properly, it's an exit. Uh -huh. But wicked people, they do wicked things yeah. and they make it an entrance. So what do you guys do at church? This is our church. We are, you know, we, we, we're teaching right now. Oh, I see. But you don't go to, you don't have a temple. We are the temple. Oh. Yeah. So what'd you learn today? Was it that Jesus is black? Yeah, let's No, go. It's, first of all, his name ain't Jesus. Oh. And you learned that you're an Israelite. Yeah, you're an Israelite. And that, it, this is the end of the world. You're living in the end of the world. How old are you? I'm 29. 29. So you you live, you live were chosen to live at the end of the world. Yeah, I know. Where all this destruction is going to happen. So, so... <laughs> oh, good. What well, can you do? What about like that guy who just walked by? What if he wanted to become an Israelite? Can he? You cannot become an Israelite. You were born an Israelite. It's a bloodline. But yeah. but how come will he be saved? No, only these people will be saved. Look at look at the sign. Read it. So and why why not him and, or the people from Britain? Ooh, the because people? the whole Bible is about the Israelites. Like I told you, the white man lied to everybody and made it seem like the whole earth could be saved. No, there's only one people that need to be saved. From the so-called white man. Oh, okay. The so white who's the who does the white man need to be saved from? Well, are they gonna spend their life in eternity? Are they going to spend eternity in hell? No, they're gonna be in slavery for a thousand years. Okay. When the Lord comes back, he's gonna enslave all these other nations, everyone that's not an Israelite. And we're gonna rule the earth in righteousness. Okay, so what about people who are mixed? There's no such thing. You are who your father is. The man carries the seed. So you are who your father is. It don't matter who your mom is. Right, so my, my niece, her dad's white, so she's not safe. If he's a if she if if he's an Edomite, because that's who the white man is, he's an Edomite, he's not white. Alright, he's an Edomite. If her if, if if her father is really an Edomite, then yes, she's not gonna be saved. But just because you're an Israelite doesn't mean you're gonna be saved. A lot of our people are about to die. Yep. Why? Because they're wicked. So so the whole thing about accepting Jesus. You can't accept the Lord. The Lord gotta accept you. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, yeah, you gotta do away with that. Honestly, if I'm already saved, then how can you be saved? That's past tense, mama. No, that's past tense. You gotta let her know what she's being saved. Yeah. What do you? I'm asking you. What do you say from? All right. So what about all of this? What about when the destruction comes? What are you gonna do then? I'm gonna have my head chopped. You gonna call up? You gonna call on the name of Jesus? No, I'm not gonna accept. Right I don't know. I, honestly, everything confuses me. So. It's because you're not listening. No, I'm listening. 
You over here thinking about your friend. Forget about your friend no, right now. Pregnant and it's all right, it's okay. This is more important than all of that. But why if I'm already saved? How are you saved? We're not even saved. No, okay, I what, how, how do you guys get saved? Let's read the scriptures. Okay, you're gonna Listen get to saved. You're gonna get saved in the end. All Israel shall be saved in the end, right? But of the upcoming destruction, that's why the you know the America's gonna get destroyed by thermonuclear fire. Jacob's trouble is gonna come. That's what we need to be saved from at this time. Okay? I got a real quick one. Uh this is this is second Ezra. Six, I think I've seen you guys interview. Do you guys remember Jesse B. Peterson? Of course, I got Christian Pastor? Yeah, I remember him. Well, he didn't interview us. He interviewed, he interviewed someone that knows that he's an Israelite. But it's different. There's different camps. Because I go to his church. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's, how, that's, that's where I was like, they look familiar. Like, I've seen them since that before that I had never heard of him. Anyway, sorry. Okay, listen at this. This is 2nd Ezra 6 and 54. It says, and after these, Adam, you know about Adam and Eve. Yeah. Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. Right, the Israelites. Right? Who was who was who was delivered out of Egypt? The Israelites. Not the so-called white man. The Israelites. Okay, so I have two questions. What do you believe that Adam and Eve sinned? Of course. Do you believe she slept with the devil? No. <laughs> what do you mean, slept with well, the she devil? Well, she ate the bad apple, right? The scriptures never mentioned no apple. The fruit. It's a doctrine. It's yeah. A, yeah, that she took on philosophies. See, but that's too deep for you. That's too, that's too deep no. right now. That's too deep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is. That's too deep for you. So, okay, I have another question. So, what... It, what, and I mean this in all good things, what's your, what's your purpose for standing out here to preach the word of God? Well, we're here to teach the, to teach the word of the Lord, to warn our people, give me Ezekiel 3 and 17, to warn our people what? about what's coming, and to let you know who you truly are, and to tell you to repent, turn away from your sin, all right? If you as a woman, you need it, or you have a man? Yeah. Well, you need to submit to that man. I do. All right, I hope so. Yeah. Sub submit a little bit more. <laughs> Get Ezekiel 3 and 17, you know. So Ezekiel 3 and 17, son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. See, we're the watchmen. See? We're prophesying. That's what we out here doing. Go ahead. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. All right, so we're sounding the alarm, letting you know, look, the white man got plans. All right, and, and, and What's involved in this plan is mass death. Yeah. You see all that stuff happening in the Middle East? Yeah. It's gonna be worse here, man. Yeah. Well, what, sure. what happens when the, when the, when the, the dollar crashes? What are you gonna do when the dollar crashes? Yeah. Oh, she's gonna ask you about that. What's that? Well, that's the mark of the beast. But well, what is that? The RFID chip. They're gonna they're gonna try to they're gonna try to put that under your skin. And I'm not gonna accept it. I mean, you say that now, but everything's cool now. What happens when you ain't ate three days and you scared out your mind? Oh, and I you died. calling on Jesus, and ain't nothing happening. So where do people go when they die? They go back to the spirit world. There's no hell. This is hell. Did you take the... We can answer all them. I'm sorry. The vaccine? Yes. You guys did it? Of course not. We don't trust the so-called white man. So why do you think all the Jewish people have all the money? Because this is their world. Get, get Job 9, 20, uh, 4. The earth was given it to the hands of the wicked. You gotta understand the so-called white man is the wicked. So you don't believe it's because they're a blessed nation, they're blessed You people? think they're blessed? They're blessed by Satan. Because they have money. Money ain't, what is money? Money is nothing. What is, it's money that they create. What are you talking about? It ain't, it ain't, it ain't, nah. Hey, the right, riches, they're Edomites. The riches that's in America, right? There's a lot of trillions of dollars worth of riches in America, right? The Lord is coming with nuclear fire to destroy all of it. He don't care none of about none of that. Yeah. They, the made, they made the, they made people think about money. That's what right. you think about on a daily basis. This money, is the money, riches money. right here. That ain't, that ain't nothing, man. The, so the, how do the woman dress? The real you kind of like, covered up. You got modest, dressed all out and all of that. Modest apparel. <laughs> modest yeah, apparel you got, because you're not supposed to dress to entice another man. Yeah. You're making that man sin. Especially if oh. you have a man. Exactly. Well, he's not an Israelite. What is he? 
Yeah. You don't know what he is? What do you mean? What's his race? What he, what, what's his race? He's an Israelite. What are you talking about? Well, I don't see anything on here. Let me see. Where's the Dominican Republic? Simeon. 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 Yeah. Oh, Dominican. So I told you all Latinos. What about indigenous people? Native like, Americans? Yes. Native Americans. Well, I guess all of America. Okay, Argentinian people. Yes, yes. they're on Sorry. here. I told Sorry. you all Hispanics. But there are actually a lot of European, yes. white Europeans sure. yes. and Argentinians. Yes. Yeah. They're Edomites. They eat them like. Let me research more. Let me research more. Sound like you confused, girl. I, I actually think I may be more confused. Damn. Oh. Hey, God bless you, though. You guys believe in God, though, right? Of course. Yeah. Jesus Christ? No, it's not his name. Uh, we told okay. you that's not his name. When you say Jesus Christ, you're thinking of a white man. Okay, but you know who I'm talking about. That's how the Lord looks. His okay. name is Yahweh Shai. You his believe in him. You believe he died on the cross? Yeah. You're an Israelite. Okay, yeah. thank you so much. Yeah. It's a lot of man. <laughs> ain't really nothing you can fucking say to her, Women man. Women is talking to like a little baby calf that was just born. They're man. adult that children, bro. That's what they are, bro. God, I got a quick reset. She ain't taking nothing we said. No. She said she's even more confused. <laughs> How? <laughs> yeah. It lets you know it went in one uh, ear and out okay. the other one. It didn't yeah. even get into the ear. Hey, when you see a but woman you got her just like that. Out. Yeah, the breast stitches. Oh, no, that church be doing that to you, man. It's confusing. <laughs> it's crazy, confusing, man. man. Yeah, this is uh, Malachi 4 and 1. Behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. See, but that's why he saw, he confused everybody. Yeah, bro. To where when they hear the truth, it's like, it ain't gonna land, it ain't right. gonna stick. Right. Yeah, that's why they, they, they're able to they allow you, they'll, put out, they'll push out the truth in the shows, the TVs, and it will never click in these people's minds. Right. Yeah, about that salvation. That's the major thing, right? Yeah. Well, if you accept Jesus Christ, then you're saved. Yeah, that's that's past tense. Nobody's saved yet. All right. Uh, when this, uh, let me finish this. This is what we need to be saved from right here. Yeah. All right, so like, bro, we told her to look at the sign like nine times. <laughs> Talking about her, her husband's not an Israel, Israelite. Women. Like, come on, read the freaking sign, yo. Go ahead, bro. Malachi 4 and 1, For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, all that do wickedly shall be stubble. All right, that's going into the nuclear destruction. Nuclear. Go ahead. And, and the day that cometh shall burn them up, save the Lord of hosts, that shall leave them neither root nor branch. So that's right. what we're working to be saved from. I right, get uh, Jeremiah 30 and 7. You know? Why because not? the scriptures describe who's going to be saved. Mm -hmm. But majority of our people won't get caught up in the wrath. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Jeremiah 30 and 7. Because they, they have been, they have been um, lured in and seduced by the serpent. This world has them seduced. Their mind is in this world. They can't see past Esau. They can't see past uh, Caesar Borgia, okay? Yeah. Him being the, 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 the Christ, as they say, him being the Lord that has been pushed in the earth for, for centuries, okay? That's a, that's a stronghold. And that can't be easily broken, man. It's hard to break that stronghold. If it's not meant for you, there you go. If it's meant for you, it ain't, it ain't hard. <laughs> all you gotta They're do is hear the word. It. Part of the elect, all you gotta do is hear the truth. It's gonna pull you out of that brainwashing. Yeah, but you know, she a woman, you know? Yeah, I gotta do something. Matthew 24 and 13. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. Right, that's who's gonna be saved. Yeah. So what the hell are you Christians talking about? Jump to uh, Jeremiah. Jeremiah 30 and 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. Right, that's the, the, the terrible time to come. Go ahead. But he shall be saved out of it. Right, there's a portion that's going, there's a portion of select souls that's going to be saved out of it. Just like Noah was saved out of the flood, man, mm -hmm. and his family. Okay, so the Lord has a remnant now that he's going to save. All right. Yeah. So someone's gonna be saved, but ain't nobody saved yet. Ain't nobody saved yet. Yeah. Saved from what? Yeah, like people say, uh, uh, well, saved from our sins, right? But you're still sinning, right? You're still in your sin. You don't even know the Most High's law to understand what sin is, anyway. You're that, going off of society's uh, standards, right? Because they understand. Everyone understands that the Lord dies for their sins, right? Yeah. 
and, but he did not die for everybody's sins. He died for his people. He shall save his people from his sins. All right, and and and, and our Lord, he covers. He, he's that he's that land that covered our sins. You know, we're not supposed we're not supposed to knowing that we're not supposed to continue sinning and all that, man. Yeah, that's why the, the law of sacrifice is uh, over with because that is the ultimate sacrifice. There's no more no more need to sacrifice animals. Yahweh Shai did it to forgive all of our sins, you know. So the brother quick. also could grab second Corinthians uh four and uh, three. Real quick. Uh Jeremiah eight and twenty it says the harvest is past, the summer is ended, and we are not saved. That's crazy. I just, I just did a lesson on that. Uh, I just did a lesson on this this week, man. No one is saved yet. It's last Saturday. You know? No one is saved. Until we on them chariots, looking down, Lord willing, with Yahweh Shah, looking at America burn, that's when we can say, right, we're we know, saved. We know the elect is saved, but we, don't, we can't point to you who the elect is. Right. Yeah. You know, that's why you hear us call ourselves the hopeful elect. We're hoping that we could be of that elect. But... Yes. You know? Scriptures say give diligence yeah. to make thy calling and election sure. You have to constantly endure, constantly be involved in the truth. Okay? You can't go back into the world. There's nothing in the world. Death is in the world waiting for you. Satan is waiting for you. Just yeah. like that house that is swept, he found swept clean. Okay? And he's out there ro roaming about seeking where he could find refuge and then he come back to you and your house is is void of the most high he's not in you he's coming and he's gonna bring seven of his friends more powerful than him seven more demons and you're gonna think you're in the truth you're gonna think you're in the truth giving the most high new names oh, giving the man. devil new names okay <laughs> all right oh, shit. you're gonna you're gonna be uh 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 you're going to be confounded. Okay? Yeah, the scripture says in Ecclesiastes 7 and 27 and 3, Unless a man hold himself diligently in the fear of the Lord, his house shall soon be overthrown. That is. Yeah, because when you're diligent, you're building. You're constantly building. Building your spirit, building your relationship with Yahweh Shemel Shai. If you're not, Satan's right there just taking pieces apart and shit, you know? Oh, yeah, precept. The psalm, I get that second uh, chronicle. Yeah. The uh, Psalms 23 and 4. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, thy comfort me. It's like the brother's going into, man. You, you believe this truth, man. It's nothing but death out here. You know, we're in the shadow of death out here, man. If the Lord ain't with you, you could eat the wrong thing and freaking die. You could eat some dessert and die. You could drink water and die and shit. Yeah. I remember somebody almost died recently for drinking too much water. Oh, yeah. So. Sound like a cool. <laughs> a lady died like that on the radio. They had a radio challenge on how much water you could drink. Yeah. She drank a lot of it Stupid and died. Stupid ass people, man. Stupid, man. Damn. People are dumb as hell, man. That's a part of the suffering. Having to be around dumb ass people, man. Here it is, we were telling this woman plainly, telling her, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, telling you how the Lord looks, telling you that Jesus is not his name. Hey, it's as if we never told her. Yeah, she said she left more confused than when she did when she came up here. You know, you know why brothers angry like God? Go on one for my brother. Yeah. Can't, don't I mean, she's a woman though. We, yeah, we know I mean, that. You know? And we spoke about it, bro. If you can't get it, it's the Lord. There's a lot of people that were just meant to be part of that thrusting floor, you know? Part of the kill, kill count. Hey, so a brother could get uh, second Corinthians, Bob Sean. I got it. Mm -hmm. uh, second Corinthians 4 and 3. But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. Yeah, the ones that the Lord don't want. Don't want to heal and convert them lest they be saved. The Lord don't want to deal with them. Not right now until they die and come back into the kingdom. Yeah, bitch, right now, lost. our people are lost completely. Lost. And you, you can't do nothing with that, man. Like the apostles, they, they were going into a lesson. They was like, these people are insane. If you ain't got the truth, you insane, man. 
just completely lost all type of uh, knowledge you believe in. You believe in Harry Potter and the Twilight and all that shit, you know. Yeah, the station, horoscopes. The like horoscopes and fucking shit. unicorns. Yeah. Yeah. Aliens. Mother Universe and yeah. all type of shit. Bro, keep going. Verse 4, it says, In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Yahweh shine, who is the image of Yahweh, should shine unto them. And they're blinded by the God of this world. They're blinded by Satan and Satan counterpart. He saw the so-called white man, man. They're just blinded. It's because the Lord don't want our people that are not meant to get this truth. He doesn't, he doesn't want them right now, you know? Oh, I gotta die first. Yep. And the Lord said, this sin can only be purged by death. So our people really, like, like the scriptures talk about, um, I think it was Zechariah or chapter 12, they gotta go through that fire Yeah. to, to really be purified. And right now we going through our trials, but they, they gotta get it when they're being burnt alive. And that's how messed up the minds of our people are, man. Like you got to burn them niggas alive for them to get the fear of Yahweh Shemel Shai in them. <laughs> they should know after death by pain. Yeah. Hey, but she was warned, though. Yeah. This is Ezekiel 33 and 30. It says, Also, thou son of man, the children of thy people are still talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses. Hey. And if I could say this, one thing that was pissing the Heavenly Father off was murmur. He would do this, he would brought them out. First thing they do, they started murmuring. Oh, we need bread, we need food. We had food in Egypt, you know. Uh, the Lord brought us here to kill us. You know, one thing about Yahweh he hates uh, 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 murmuring. murmuring. Or what, what they were called, backbiting? Busy planning. Complaining. Complaining, yeah, kind of. It says, And speak to another, every one to his brother, saying, Come, I pray you, and hear what is the word that cometh forth from the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. And they came unto thee as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words. But they will not do them, for with their mouth they show much love, but their heart goeth after their covetousness. And lo, thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument, for they hear thy words, but they do them not. Hey, even that woman, she, she looked like she wanted to stay here and talk to brothers the whole time, but her mind was on some something else. So a lot of our people, they'll come up here, they'll listen to us, they like how we speak, how, how, how the spirit is on a brother, how he brings it out, the information, and they'll, they'll seem intrigued, but their mind is like, damn, I gotta go do this, I gotta go do that, you know, they're thinking about their wickedness. Yeah, the Apostle Paul brought that up, man, our people have a zeal, but uh, not, not a zeal according to knowledge, man. Yeah, come on, come on. They treat it like channel surfing, you know? They watch it for 15 seconds, and then boom, next channel. You know, it's, they're not intrigued. Damn, it's not for them, really. Good point, bro. Exactly. It's not for you. If it, if it was for you, it don't matter what you got going on in your life. You're going you're gonna to be locked in right here. Before hey, you know it, you've been standing for two hours. What did um, Andrew, was it Andrew? Peter. Peter. And Andrew. Yeah, they, they dropped their nets immediately and followed them. Because it was for them. Wow, exactly. It's that serious. Yeah, he, hey, Peter's like, Lord, I give up everything. I have a wife, family. What shall I receive? You know, he gave up everything. There's a new show on uh, Netflix. It's called The, the Chosen. Yeah. No, the, no, not The Chosen. Good. It was basically goes into the lives of the disciples. Spiritual. Yeah, I, I watched some of it. But, you know, of course, you know, he saw his ways. He makes disciples and the Lord looks soft and all that. But they'll, they'll show you, like, in that show, Peter had a, had a wife and all that. And, you know, his, his life was... Huh? Did, did he have a daughter in that one? Not, not in that show. But, um, but in that show, when he found the Lord, he immediately, he went and wanted to follow the Lord, man. Right. 
Bro, he gave you know? up his job, bro. It's like the Lord came to job and you out here working and Lord said, all right, brothers, uh, you know, the kingdom is here. And you just be like, out the job, everything, just throw off the garment. I mean, whatever you work it in. And that's what Peter and them was doing. They were doing fishing. That's their job. Yeah, what was one of the miracles that the Lord did? He, he, he had a lot of fish appear. Yeah. Because yeah. in our show, they showed you how they were struggling to catch fish, which is a way to pay off their debt or the taxes to the to the Romans. So that there was no fish in the from the, from the sea. So they were they were they were struggling. And then the Lord appeared, and he told him, Peter to cast out, cast his net in the ocean. And all of a sudden, there was just too many, too many, too many uh, fishes, man. Hey, bro, he didn't even know it was the Lord. Right. But he just like, oh yeah, there's a fish out there, throw the whole net. And all of a sudden, when that's, he heard uh, it was the Luke, Lord. That's Luke 5. Yeah, when he heard it was the Lord, he was like, forget these fishes. Let's go to the <laughs> Lord. He jumped off the boat. Nah, he's talking about two different, two different. Oh, two different accounts? Oh, okay, that's right. All right, you're good. He heard the voice in the back of his head saying, this is the way, walk ye in it. It's straight force, you know? They followed that's after the Lord. talking about when the Lord came, came back, looking like another man. Oh, oh. Oh, that's when the Lord had the fish on the, with the fire and everything? Yeah, that's oh, when okay. he jumped off the... But the, the, what you're talking about is Luke 5. John. Oh, I got a precept. Because we, brought, we, brought, we read uh, Corinthians. I had a, how uh, the gospel of our gospel would be headed to them that are lost. Yeah. And how the God of this world had seen them. This is uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. Verse 10. And with all deceitfulness of unrighteousness, and them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. For this cause, the Most High shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Hey, that in itself shows that the Most High don't love everybody. You know, the world's like, oh, he, God loves everybody. Well, he didn't give them the love of the truth. So he don't, he don't love, he loves our people. But right now, the Lord, that love is only for the elect right now, which is this truth. That's why the elect have this truth. That's why men out here preaching this word, man. But for two thirds of our people, they haven't received this, the, the love, which is this gospel. That's why they believe in this lie. They believe in that God is that God is white and His Son is white. He's all love, and then He believes they believe they're saved. That's all a lie that's been taught by you. Uh, that was told, man. Okay, and, they, and they, they, our people all fall into that, man. Our people they, they they take all that up. They take all their lies up, man. Hey, bro, the Lord had to. He had to uh, have Esau do all deceivableness because the truth is very plain, man. If, if the Lord didn't set up Esau to, to and spiritual demon Satan to blind our people, they would see this truth that it is the truth. So the Lord, you know, he's balanced. He set up the deceivers and, and the true um, men to preach the gospel, you know? Maybe one? No, that was it. Wait, uh, forgive me. One more. It says, that they all might be damned who believe not the truth. But have pleasure in unrighteousness. So whoever don't believe the truth is gonna be damned. Damn means uh, destruction. They're gonna get put to death. Whether it be Jacob's trouble, whether it be when martial law comes, whether it be um, uh, nuclear missiles or the lasers from the chariots, they're gonna be damned. You know? Because they didn't receive the love of Yahweh Shemel Shad, it's true. So Zechariah 13 and 8, and it shall come to pass that in all the lands that the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. In the land of America, and the Lord going to do a mass killing of our people. That's why you see so many of our people migrating to America. Because the Lord is about to get a lot of new Israelites in America. Two thirds of our people that, that are not, that are not, uh, um, Taking heed to this word. Yeah. You know? <clears throat> and it shall come to pass that in all the lands that the Lord, two parts therein, shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire, 
and we'll find them as silver is refined, and we'll try them as gold is tried. Hey, Lord willing, we're that one third, man, being tried like precious metal, like gold, going through adversity for the Lord, being tried as a son, you know? <clears throat> they shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, the Lord is my power. Yeah, the elect are going to call a Yabashmashai. Yeah, the, the elect going to call on the name of Yabashmashai. Name means, the Greek word is anima, which means the proper names. They're going to call upon Yahweh Bahashim Yabashai in that day, man. They ain't going to call upon a bunch of names and expect uh, uh, to be saved. Like that uh, dude, uh, uh, Mike Epps. He said uh, he got kidnapped in a trunk, right? And he's like, he's calling out every God's name. Allah, Mullah, Buddha, fucking Hindu God. And that's all our people. They, 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 they're going to call upon every name to try to get the right name to get saved. But only the elect going to call upon the true name. And, and the Lord going to actually hear them. And it ain't going to be no delay. It's going to be instant. All right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the Lord and the Son, man, only have one name, and it's, it's in the ancient Hebrew. Man. It's not in the Greek, it's not in uh, any other language, but the Hebrew. Hey, bro, and to prove that, check out the camps that uh, GMS Holland, check out the camp GMS Sweden, check out the camp GMS Hawaii. They, no matter what language they're speaking in, when they say at the end of it, y'all by Shemel Shai, and you know, they might be like, in another language, it's gonna kill y'all niggas, but... That, they, they always say Yahweh Shem El Shai. Yeah. So, that's universal. Isn't it? That's universal, and it's one name. Many languages, many different tongues, one name. That's right. And only, and only the elect has received those names, man. No matter how much we're out here telling them, but that woman that was just up here, it's going to go in one ear and out the other, man. Yeah, it sounds like, sound like gibberish to her. At the end of it, she said, What? Oh, Jesus, the black man? She ended up saying Jesus anyway. Damn. She's gonna be part of those, uh, you know, that are gonna seek to and fro, you know, during the time of famine, famine of the word. If you're gonna shot bet, she'll come right back here, this spot, looking for us, man. And all hell breaks loose. And she gonna search LA from top to bottom, looking for the truth in that day. Or is she just gonna die? Yeah. Hey, most last. Sure, yeah. Most likely, you know, she's gonna get ravished. Yeah, she you a know? woman. She ain't searching for no truth. She's gonna be searching for a man to protect her. That is, man, that's a solid point. Huh? Only uh, men gonna have that type of mind to really. The to truth serve. is only for men, bro. Yeah. yeah. Uh, She's gonna be too bugged out. Right you know? You're gonna have women get saved, yeah, but they're not doing the work, bro. They're not, you know, they're not doing lessons or nothing like that. They're just, they just believe. They hear it, they believe, it, and that's that. Well, we're gonna have a different mindset on men in that day. Men's minds aren't gonna be on box, you know. Nah. It ain't gonna be on women, okay? Trying to get a woman, trying to please a woman. That's gonna be the last thing on their mind. Everybody's gonna be out for themselves, man. Okay? Gonna Everybody be, be man. right. Everybody's gonna try to prove themselves. Oh, yeah. Lord gonna put the fire under everybody. Prove themselves. Okay? And you having a woman trying to get this woman you've been trying to get for three years or two years or two months. Okay, that's going to be the last thing on your mind. God, just like what's going down in Israel right now. Ain't no those men out there searching for no woman. To, to bed no woman right now. They're all in chaos. Prior to it, there was party when it was all fun games. You know, but when them paratroopers came, you know, sailing down, like out of Red Dawn shit, that's when it all changed. You know? hey, that's why Isaiah uh, 4 1, it says, in that day of, no, 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 no seven women shall take hold of one man. Like this brother was saying, they ain't gonna be seeking a Lord. They gonna be looking for a man, but not just any man, a man of the Lord, you know? If they're seeking the Lord, they gonna be seeking Jesus. Yeah, that's true. What, what, what y'all brothers saying remind me of that movie, Love Bird. It, all, it was all chaos, and you had that guy that went out of his way to, for his girl. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Be, uh, I haven't seen it though. How it ends oh, yeah, that on Netflix. Yeah. The dude went all the way to Seattle just for his uh just for his wife. And she was waiting for and, his and find out she was with another man. Of course, because she needs protection. <laughs> but she, like hey, but you ain't gonna have shit like that. You ain't gonna have guys that go out their way uh, uh for for women. Cause then it gets so bad 
You're gonna forget that you had a girlfriend. And you ain't you know? gonna be able to travel state to state either. There's gonna be checkpoints out here, man. It's gonna be martial law, man. Mm -hmm. People don't even know what martial law is, man. The martial law, they compensate your homes, everything. Sick of you stupid ass people, man. Here it is. We're in the age of information. That's why they say in the age of information, ignorance is a choice, man. You people are damn stupid, man. Hey, you don't right. even, sorry, bro. You don't even do, you don't even put no energy into research, man, to find out the truth. You content with lies, man. Ignorant is bliss. Like Isaiah 30, uh, yeah. 30 and 8 says, uh, 30 chapter, uh, prophesy unto, uh, prophesy deceits. They don't want to hear the truth, man. Oh, yeah. Sick of you goddamn people, man. Yeah, that's Speak like, smooth things. Smooth while job. everything around us is, is crumbling. Everything is crumbling and yeah. going to chaos, man. Everything is chaos. But they still want to be in a in a folly state of mind. They still want to, to enjoy themselves and be happy. This is not the time to be happy. This is the time to come back to your nationality. This is time back to, to come back to the Lord, you know. And see what the Lord requires of you. Yeah, you're not supposed to be in the spirit of mirth right now, man. You know, wickedness, man, you know, they're the ones ruling right now, man. You know? Yeah, she asked, why Why do the what she said, Jewish people have so much money? Yeah. Because they rob the fucking earth of everything, man. Yeah. They, 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 they rule the earth. I mean, they, they obtained everything through uh, 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 slaughtering people. Uh, uh, murdering people, yeah. stealing pe from people, robbing people. What's up, brother? No, no, it's funny. Isaiah 14. So like it, bro. That's how the devil got everything, man. Mainly through slavery, you know? And slavery, man. Backs of us, the yeah. Israelites. You know, uh, they, you know, most, a lot of, a lot of the stations are owned by these, these jades, man. They don't tell you that. A lot of these small hatters own in the NFL business. NFL, NBA, these different music, uh, everything, uh, bro. Music. Yeah, they own everything. They're everything. behind everything, man. The apostles brought out, man. You know, a lot of them shits, man. You know, they come back to their names and shit, you know. Yeah. And it's all. Uh, yeah, Isaiah, Isaiah 14, what? No, 14 and verses um, uh, 4. Hmm? 14 and 4? <laughs> you, anyway, nah, you, 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 you got it, bro. Yeah. Sure, bro. What you mean, bro? You got it, bro. You got it, bro. Over, bro. Go ahead. Go ahead. Isaiah 14 and 4. But thou shalt take up this proverb against the king of Babylon and say, How hath the oppressor ceased? The golden city ceased. The Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. Hey, that's how scepter. 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 Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's all good, brother. Hey, well, you take away the scepter from a, a king that represents their authority, their power. Yeah. So the Lord is going to take away Esau's rulership. Huh? Yeah. That's how Babylon is going to cease. Because if the Lord don't take away this man's power, he's never stopping. No man on earth can stop this man but Yahweh by Shai. Hey, that's why it even says in Revelation 13, we shall make war with the beast. Yeah, You've seen these other nations like Russia, China, uh -huh. these brick nations, they have to make all these pacts and leagues because they can't. You can't go to war with NATO on your own. On your own, you you is getting decimated, and then they're gonna take over your country and then make you tributary, just like the Roman Empire. But like this brother said, that's why they join in together to come against this this uh, NATO the beast. It's all prophecy, man. It says, "He who smote the people in wrath with a continual stroke." He that ruled the nations in anger as persecuted and unhindered. So Esau is almost like that. Um, Y'all ever seen Game of Thrones, right? Nah, I don't nah. remember it. Yes, but they ain't seen it yet. That spoiled little brat, that every, King Jeffrey. <laughs> King Is Jeffrey. Midget? Nah. Oh, the, the, the son. He's a persona of Esau, bro. The son, right? The white, the Lord, son. Oh, the one that was committing incest? No, not he that He was one. born through incest. But he was a king that was just a demon, bro. King I remember, of the South, right? right? No, the little, the uh, first Lannister. king, the Jeffrey, used like a little brat, bro, and his mom was controlling him. 
He married he married the king of the North's daughter and took her as a huh? something like that. I don't remember much of that show. But yeah, Esau, he's ruling in wrath. Yeah. He's constantly oppressing people, you know? The scripture says when the, the righteous are uh, when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn, but when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. Right now the whole world is mourning, man. Are you talking about the one that got eaten by the dogs? Oh, okay. He got poisoned. Yeah. He got poisoned. Oh, yeah, okay. This is the one that was making fun of the midget. Yeah. He was just cruel. He was yeah. a cruel asshole. You know? Yeah, I remember. No. So even when she said, oh, they, why did the, the Joes, those fools, like Charles White would say, uh, got riches and all that, because they're constantly hitting everybody. They constantly got their foot in the neck of every single body in the earth, man. What? Lord established them. The yeah. Lord said the scripture said a basis of men. Just like the Roman Empire. Yeah. They were they were on everyone. They taxed everybody. That's the main reason why you had uh the uh, uh the, 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 the zealots and the Sakaris, they were they were tired of that oppression. Tired of being taxed, man. You know? Just like today, everyone Amer America's on everybody, man. Yeah. You know, tax taxing their own citizens. You know, you you have a a, a, a group called the IRS, IRS, okay, bro. which is now giving them you know license, to, you know guns and all that. Uh -huh. You know, going after people that don't pay their taxes. Oh mm. shit! And they're not even an official government. Um, they're not agency, even, yeah. agency, bro. This is like fucking uh, bonds, bonds people. They're not official police officers, but yet they arresting people. Right. This is crazy, man. But yeah, man, you think uh, we pay a lot of taxes. Imagine the other countries. Shit. This is worse for them. So keep going on. The whole earth is at rest and it's quiet. They break forth into singing. Yeah, the fir tree rejoiced at thee and the setters of Lebanon saying, since thou art laid down, no fella has come up against us. Hell from beneath is moved for thee to meet thee at thy coming. Hell represents grave, you know, which is synonymous with judgment or destruction. All right, so hell at thy coming, oh, uh, hell from beneath is moved for thee at thy coming. So at thy coming represents World War Three. So the judgment or the destruction uh, for America is going to happen once Esau stepped foot in World War Three. You know, that's when it, the Lord going to really get Esau. Yeah, the Lord said he's going to raise up the terrible of the, na of the, of the strangers or of the nations in Ezekiel 28 because Esau says he's a God and he cannot be touched. Yeah. The Lord's going to raise up these nations to show him that, that you're just a man, that you're not a God. You're going to go to these nations and say, I'm a God. You can't do this to a God. Nah, man, because when, when the Lord lets the, raise up these nations to defile our brightness to destroy this place, you can't, you, you, you can't say that you're a god, man. Okay? What's up? Sirach 10. Sirach 10 and 7. Pride is hateful before the Most High and man, and by both doth one commit iniquity. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. That's how Esau got everything, through deceit. Yeah. You know, through laying everyone down. Yeah. You know? And he's not stopping, bro. This, 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 we were just reading Isaiah 4, continual stroke. He, he's like, he's the type of dude that will run you over, and then you barely, like, uh, you get back up, and he'll reverse and run you over again. Yeah. No mercy. He has no mercy, bro. And right now, the, the translation is happening. Everyone could see that that there's something special about the Negroes, Hispanics, and Native American men. That we something special is about to happen for us. It's because the Lord is transitioning that power from Esau to, to Jake, man. That that power transition is happening right now. You know, because Esau, they can't just get you on the street like they would in 1959 or 60s. They can't just hang you no more. You know, Jake will will go at it with Esau. Jake would take Esau to court, you know, because the power is being translated to us. I 
got a piece of it happened when the when the word came out, you know? That's when Esau's word, you know, Esau's kingdom slowly started coming down, man. It was, yeah. I got a precept um, back to what you just read. In James 5 and 1, it says, Go to now, ye rich men, weep and howl for your miseries that shall come upon you. Your riches are corrupted and your garments are moth-eaten. And how Esau's riches was corrupted because how they set it up. You know, defrauding everyone, taking everyone, uh, stealing everyone's gold. You know, you have, they installed, they, they, they established um, the Federal Reserve, which was set up in secrecy to rob the people, man. You know, you had a bunch of elites that got together to, to establish this Federal Reserve that's not backed by gold, backed by nothing, man. Okay? A paperless dollar to rob the people, having everyone turn in their gold for cash. Real money for fake money. Okay? And people that are, uh, uh, people that, um, uh, uh, yeah, what's that guy's name? Uh, John F. Kennedy. Uh, he wanted to uh, uh, have the dollar be backed up by gold. He wanted to set up that gold standard. And when he did that, assassinated him. Okay? Because he was going against the elites. Because then you would have to prove money, the value of money. You, know? it, you could no longer just give people notes and be like, I got gold, and people will believe you. Now you actually have to show proof, you know? And that's why they killed his ass. And hey, over there in Africa, they trying to bring back that gold money, where money's actually gold, you know, that gold standard. But Esau, he's, he's trying to, with his new order, he's trying to bring digital money, which is not tangible money. But that's how the riches are corrupted, man. Yeah. It's not true riches. The people that like to flaunt your money, flaunt your cash, not understanding that, that in, that's not real money, man. The least they have the, the real money, all up in their in their in their vaults and all that, man. Not putting it to good use. Okay? It's gold, silver, and precious stone, that's real money right there, man. Resources. Right. Man. Something that the people don't have. Okay? They made you content with paper money, man. You content with a damn house that you gotta pay for until you die, man. Yeah. They're constantly taxing you. Like, 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 uh, you can pay off your house, but you still gotta pay property tax. Okay? And if you don't pay your property tax, they can take your land, sell their land, sell your land, okay? That's how to get what, what you owe them, man. You can pay off your car, but you still gotta. Register your car. Oh, let's, still got to pay insurance. But let's say uh, you owe money to IRS, right? You owe a lot of money, and you're not you're not able to pay off that money. They'll go and they'll see what they can take from you to sell, so they can make that money. All right. So if you own a car, they can take that car away from you. That means you're a slave, bro. Right. That's what you do with a slave. Yeah. You take everything that he owns. It's not even his because he don't even own himself. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Huh? yeah. And even if you can pay your property taxes and you pay everything up, they can still take your property through his unrighteous decree called uh, eminent domain. That's how they was getting Jake out here in California. Through eminent domain that was taking all their land. That's what happened with that dude uh, that Bruce's beach. And you know? yeah, just look how they did Gad in the Northern Kingdom. Man. They, yeah. just, hey, just, they just took it. Man. They when, it. They, when they when they built these freeways, they uh, uh, what's the word called? This. Uh, uh, I forget the word, but they, they force people out to build certain, to build on certain uh, lands, bro. Oh, Dodger Stadium. Yeah, that's a good yeah. And they were all J communities, bro. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. fucking word, man. That's what gentrification's all about, man. Yeah, what's the, what's the thing that's what, uh, you got a lot of Jake that lo loves to support the Dodgers, which I'm glad that they lost again this year. They suck, bro. Yeah, I'm, I'm so glad they lost again, because you, you Latins like to go, you Jakes over here like to go crazy when he all right, but 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 you don't know how how Dodger Stadium was set up, man. How they had to kick a lot of you people off that land just to build that stadium, man. Lisa don't care, okay? He don't care about us. He don't care that he gon he gon he he, uh, he stole land. Look how look what he did to America. All of America is stolen land, and he has the nerve to call you call uh, the Native Americans, the Seminole Indians, and the so-called Mexicans immigrants. All right. Oh, no, they call it's part. Yeah, it's yeah, it's like, yeah. 
I mean, they lump everyone together. Yeah. I mean, we all we all feel like the same thing. Yeah. Come out some way. Oh, what they did with North North Dakota, so South Dakota. We wanted to build the pipeline to Canada. Uh huh. Oh yeah. But it was on Native American land. He saw what is what is he got the dogs, he got the big guns. Yeah. He, he, he didn't care. They were protesting. Well, he, people were protesting with no with unarmed protesters. You over here with your dogs, your guns, forcibly taking that land that you that you that 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 that, that was theirs, man. No care in the world of what, of what those you building that pipe that oil pipeline would do to the land, man. Okay. Uh, you could destroy the. In, um, they they complaining about that in Nigeria. Exactly. Yeah. Too much yeah. uh, drilling of oil being off. You know, um, not going by the land savage and just overdoing stuff, man. Yeah, it's affecting how they farm, right? Yeah, it's killing the crops. It's the killing water. the animals. Exactly. The water. Oh, you're what blind if you can't see who the wicked is. Man. Shell, yeah. gas company. I think that was in. Nigeria. Yeah, Nigeria. Yeah, yeah. They did the same thing in Nigeria, bro. When people were protesting, you know, Shell is a major corporation, so they just paid off the government to to lock those protesters, to kill those protesters up. You know. And that's another thing. They got puppet leaders, you know, in different countries. Man. Right. All right. You know that that oppressed the people of all time with, with the government. Same thing with these co companies down in South America. Like, yeah. um, I think it was I don't know what uh, it was somewhere in Central America. With that banana company, uh, they uh, they, they, oh, they running the stores. Yeah, I forgot, I forgot the company's name, yeah. but they basically um, so the they they had to huh? take. D, a D? I think it's so D, right? Yeah, I have to see the picture. I know yeah. the picture. I don't know the name. For sure, for sure. But they they basically had to take out the old um old leader because he wasn't with that man. Oh, Is it good another uh. This? There's just there's so, so much information about this, like like with uh with Mexico, right? Yeah. How they found a lot of lutherium, lutherium. If I'm saying it right, probably not. Forgive me. You had you had certain uh, senators that wanted to declare the cartel as a terrorist, as a terrorist organization. And the real reason for that is if they declared the cartel members as terrorist organization, that would justify America. And sending the military in Mexico yeah, to yeah. take to take the resources. Lutheum, 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 Lutheum? Yeah. Lutheum. Yeah. Lutheum. Lutheum. Yeah. Which which powers? Yeah, batteries. Yeah. Which powers majority of America? Uh, lithium and um, what's that oil that uh, um, Iran be having? Uranium. Or oh, something? uranium. Uranium and yeah. lithium. Those yeah. go hand in hand to power America. You know? So the same thing with the uh, president over there in Navy, man. You know he didn't want to. Align himself with the global agenda. You know, right. look what happened to him. Yep. Uh, you know, think about it. Oil is in every region of the earth. Yeah. This devil just. Yeah, like has Micah, you know, Micah ass too, ass man. Yeah. Yeah. Brother could grab that. Yeah. He just wants. He just wants your shit. Yeah. That's it. He saw just wants your shit, and that's that's how he is. His desires as hell, man. He, he, yeah, he just wants everything. So uh, Micah two and one. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. And they cover the field and take them by violence. That's the language that the devil speaks. Yeah. Right? Violence, man. Hey, like, don't don't take my word on it, but you know how it's funny how they're telling all the all the all the, the so-called Palestinians to evacuate. Uh -huh. All right. They can tell tell to. All evacuated just to take their land, which th that you know that land don't belong to either of them either way. That's exactly what they're doing, bro. Right. They're telling them to evacuate, and then they're bombing them as they evacuate. Right. Yeah, that's take it by violence. But here's the thing. <laughs> if he, he not, he not gonna take it. Even if you look, he's, you can run out of the land. You can go out. This man is still want. He wants blood, man. Yeah. He wants. He wants to earn a land by blood. That's that's the price of. You gonna shut down the power, the water supply? Yeah. Okay. yeah that's it's crazy. His, that's. He's diabolical. Yeah. So like, bro, you was gonna say something? Uh, they, they uh, the UN is, is is trying to tell them like, don't be careful of war crimes, because oh, because because eh. you can't you can't look what you're doing to the civilians, man. The civilians had nothing to do with with uh, 
with Hamas, which is an organization that you people created, by the way. Okay, because it's all funny how how they're saying that uh, uh, no one, uh, how the Israeli uh, the, uh, uh, agency did not catch um, Hamas invading their land. They allowed them to. You know, right. All for, there's a there's a purpose. There's an agenda behind all that. Right? Yeah, bro. Because they they their military is more advanced than American military. Yes. The, the Israel is one of the most advanced. Special technology with intelligence, bro, right? Which is information, right? Because they know they're not in there, bro. If you're surrounded, by, with the sword. Yeah, yeah, if you're surrounded by enemies, of, of course, you're gonna be on high alert, you know. Yeah, you, uh, you had Egypt, they warned, they warned, um, the Israel forces about how there's an immediate attack, it could be an attack that could happen at any moment, you know. They were warning them, you know. Yeah. It says in the common field to take them by violence yeah, like in houses and take them away. The, uh, so they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. Mm. Even so this man's oppressing the whole earth. You know, he's violently oppressing people, man. You know? That's his first time in the morning, man. Yeah, yeah man. We always bring it up. Yeah. Avatar, man. Yeah. I just realized it's and, and also, Jake's in the land. They're telling him to get the hell out. If you don't look like a damn uh, fools, Jews, they're telling you to get out of the land. You should get out anyway. Take heed. Yeah, That's bro. for your soul. It's for your life. You don't want to be burned up in that fire when the Lord destroys that land. Think about it. If they use nuclear missiles, Russia is going to gonna use nuclear missiles on them. Because um, the cost is brought out this week. The least of the flock should draw them out. They're going to draw out America. After Russia nukes the shit out of them. And I was like, oh shit. So hey man, they gonna get nuked. They're gonna they're they're thinking they're thinking about using nuclear missiles in in Gaza, which is stupid. And why would you use nuclear missiles if you're trying to take the land? But hey, but just look at what is Kudus said, that's a rumor. Ezekiel 7 and 26 is mischief shall be upon mischief. A rumor upon rumors. Y'all was trying to say you're gonna hear wars, rumors of wars. So you're hearing all these things that like, oh this could happen, this can happen. Uh, we'll see how it all how it all plays out, man. That should be the mindset every time something happens. Yeah. Let's watch and see. All right. But when that when that when that's implemented, that's when you know it's over, man. That's when you really could be excited and jump for joy, man. You know, right now it's just it's just little skirmishes around, around the earth, man. Leading to something though. But when it when it start when shit really start popping here, that's when we know. Hey bro, because when you know that come, there, there ain't no I mean there, that's, that's the end goal. That's the end goal. There's no propaganda like oh, no, that's it. it. This is it. This is this is what we this is the ultimate hour of faith. But Test they gotta it, do bro. away with that dollar. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. They gotta do certain things to get to this point. You see how close it is, though. They're doing human close. trials yeah. with that brain, the neural link. All right. This dollar, man, it's, it's, very, hey, it's getting worse and worse by the minute. By the day. All right. Yeah, bro, you got all these banks closing closing yeah. down. Yeah. You got inflation happening. Yeah. You got these places not accepting cash. Yeah, you right. Know, it's all happening, you know, little by little. Yeah, it might take a couple years. It might take a year. It might take six months. We don't know. Yeah. But it's gonna happen. Patience, possessing your soul. We're all, we're all patiently waiting and watching. That's why when these things happen, we're not troubled like everyone else is. Because we know all these things. Like the solar eclipse, people came out, saw it as a beautiful sight, you know? But they don't understand what that really meant, you know? They don't understand when you saw the solar eclipse, that means that great and terrible day is near. Yeah. Each day that goes by in this place, month, and even the year, we're getting close to that great and terrible day of the Lord, man. Yeah. Or even like three years ago, people did not know what the fuck to do, man. They were in fear. Fucking buying toilet paper, food. About to be not knowing what the hell was going on, man. Yeah. Yeah. We can see why the Lord said that day is going to come as a thief in the night. Like, yeah, Look how people are behaving, bro. This shit is so mind-blowing. It's like, it's damn, these can't people can't... Really focus can't on dates. Yeah. Can't believe all oh, this can happen on this date. That day, 
Don't come out as a thief in the night. When the dog collapses, you ain't getting no warning. Gonna, one day you wake up and next thing you know, the, the prices is high everywhere, man. Somebody gonna wake you up. You know? Yeah. Let's yeah, brother grab his quick up. Uh, it's having group two and three for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak without lie. Go and tarry, wait for it because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Hey, okay, so we're almost at the appointed time for uh, the crashing of the dollar and, and um, the paragma coming on the scene. We're almost at the appointed time for World War Three. It's speaking, yeah. And when it comes, you're gonna know that's that's the time that the Lord set it for. You know, and it's, and it's, it's about to speak. It's about to take action. You you literally going to see people just normally already before it's even uh, mandated tapping their hands and shit, thinking everything is all good. They're going to be tapping their hands instead of paying with a credit card or their phone. They're going to be first in line. Beep! Beep! Yeah, here it is. That woman said she's not going to take it, but she said, what is that? At the mark of the beast, she said, Well, what is this? You didn't even know what it was. Yeah. So, how do you not? You don't even know what it is not to take it because you took the jab. You took the jab, man. So, you telling me you ain't gonna take that? You're gonna take it. You dumbass people, man. Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. He saw his soul. Now, right, man. Who the hell wants to challenge their maker? Who wants to challenge? Who wants to go at it with Yahweh Nobody. Nobody but Esau, man. Yep. This man is crazy. You want to challenge the power that flooded the whole earth? Yep. Man, this man is crazy. You want to challenge the power that flooded the whole earth and save only eight souls? It, man, the water was so high, it passed the highest mountains. You can stack another mountain on top of the highest mountain. That's how the Lord swept waters across the earth, man. He killed people. He called every soul back up to heaven. You want to challenge the Heavenly Father? Come on, bro. This dude is not right. He's not right, man. The whole world is tired of your ass. The whole world is sick of you, man. You know? Yeah, also because he transgresseth by wine, he's a proud man. He either keep it at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell, and is as death and cannot be satisfied, but gathering unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people. And yeah, just going back to what we were talking about, you know, he doesn't keep at home, man. He's in all these other countries, building up all these bases, military bases, taking their resources. And he's, you know? he's not satisfied, bro. He's never satisfied, man. you know. He's gonna keep going and going and going until the Lord come back. <clears throat> And that's what the Lord set him up to do, man. I mean, goddamn, just get the uh, Revelation 6 and 4. He was set up to take peace away from the earth. That's him. <laughs> this dude is that diabolical, man. Got everybody upset. You know, causing harm to everybody. But for a while, everybody was scared to speak on it. Yeah. They were scared. They, they kind of still scared to speak on the so-called Jews, man. I should, I should say something else, yeah. Like that guy, uh... One guy. Uh, yeah, skinny jeans on. Yeah, Works for Hollywood. Bro. You want to? He, he don't want. He want to uh, tarnish his job or his reputation. They want to be on camera. Yeah. Cause why? He worked amongst those type of people, man. Cause you say, you say anything, they'll, they'll automatically t uh, associate you with being anti-Semitic. There's a quote that says, uh, "You know who the leader is." Can't criticize him. Yep. Something of that sort, you know. Who's the one you mainly can't criticize? These small, these 1940s, these Jays, you know. Yeah. You can't criticize them. Yeah, they try to separate yeah. themselves. Yeah. Hey, y'all, you a bunch of fucking Edomites. You a bunch of devils, man. All of you. No matter, you a Russian devil, a right. damn, a Jewish devil. It don't matter, man. You all a bunch of fucking devils, man. Yeah. Russian devil, a damn, a Jewish devil. It don't matter, man. You all a bunch of fucking devils. You just Amalek, man. You the top of the. Are you the worst of the worst? The worst, man. You're the worst of the bosses. fucking worst, yeah. man. Can't wait to touch you devils, man. Straight up, man. All these fucking lies and shit that we gotta cut through every day. Man, yo. Yeah, if you got a lot of these white, white dudes, they say like, like the Jews aren't actually white or ethnically white. This ain't true, man. You're all Edomites, man. Yeah, yeah. man. 
you know? Mm -hmm. He's just your master. He's your head tribe, man. And you control the world, man. You can push, you can push a certain narrative and agenda on the masses by a push of a button. Everybody's in your pocket, man. Everybody's scared of you, man. And the scripture said, the least of the flock shall draw them out, letting you know that there's more of them. Okay, it's not just them. It's a whole flock of them. Okay, they have a whole lineage. They're the bad guys in the story. They're one of the main characters. Okay, and they try to fr uh, front and flip and say that they're the good guys now. Okay, <laughs> but you can't say that no more. <laughs> really? I even seen a video of Anne Marie talking about you, the singer. You know, talking about what, what you're doing over there to the Palestinians. Yeah. But get that scripture, man. We haven't got it. Revelation six and four. Revelation six and four. And there went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him. Right, red, man. All right. You Edomites, you're red. Yeah. And power was given to you, man. All right. Go ahead. In Genesis 36 and 8, it says uh, Esau was changed to Edom, which means Edom, Edom means red. Yeah. All right. It's Job 9 and 24, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. That's that mm -hmm. power being given to you by Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai. Okay. You didn't do it on your own. You're, you're weak. The Lord said he set up the bases of men. Okay, to rule. You're the basis of men. Okay, you're weak in every aspect of weakness. Everything you got, you gotten by rape, robbery, murder. Okay, you stole everything. There's nothing up that came of your own power. Okay, you don't have any power, but like the Lord said, but the power that is given unto you. Yeah. Jacob is the former of all things, man. Everything you see here was created by Jacob. And you stole everything with your own patents. And all that, trying to say that you created it. You know? Jake created everything, man. There went out another horse that was red, and power was given to him that sat thereon to take peace from the earth, and that they should kill one another, and there was given unto him a great sword. Right, so with that great sword, he has taken peace away from the earth. It's the reason why the scriptures call you the violent man. Alright? So fuck you devils, man. Alright? Oh, you got it, brother. Hey, but King David said, Deliver me, Lord, from the wicked, which is thy sword. So, hey, you are, hey, you are the Heavenly Father's sword to swing upon the wicked. At the end of the day, you ain't going to touch Yahweh Shemel Shai's men, man. Yeah, you're going to bring some of us in concentration camp. Yeah, you're going to demonize us. And then at the end, you're going to put some of us to death for refusing to bend the knee. But that, at the end of the day, you, you're not going to get any of us to conform to your side, man. Yeah. And yeah, the Lord's coming to lift up a standard, man. And you're like, hey, man, you know, his power is going to be revealed. All right, there's nothing, you know, he can do, you know, against his people. Hey, bro, I had an epiphany, too. I was thinking about in the times of Egypt, yeah, right? Yeah, you got it. Um, the, the the Egyptians are known for that left hand power. Yeah. And then when the Lord uh, had Moses came on the scene, that that right hand power was exalted, and the whole world got to witness the the left hand power. Now we're about to witness the right hand power, man. Right. We're about to see uh, brothers do miraculous things out here. You know, go through armies, troops. You know, miracles. Do people. miracles, bro. You know, like like Esau, he's trying to make people walk. Yeah. With his with his chip, but the Lord's gonna have his men kill uh, people walk through the, through his name, man. Yeah. Yeah, healing them through the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay. It's about to be that time, man, because we're we're seeing the full extent of the left hand. So where's the right hand? The right hand's coming. It's coming, baby. It's coming. <laughs> oh yeah. Things happened like the brother was talking about. Things happened back in in the days of Egypt. Pharaoh showed all this power. Now you see Esau's power yeah. is is significant, man, and it's and it's um, lifted up to where as you think we as a nation we don't have any power because that's the way it looks. We don't have a standing army. We don't have anything when it when it comes to physical traits and physical uh, uh, attributes. There's none nothing that we can show to show that we have power. But our power is in this word, man. Our power is being shown by us, by us standing up 
get uh, Wisdom of Solomon uh, chapter 5. Get that right quick. Wisdom of Solomon chapter chapter 5. Oh, standing up is okay. our power. Oh. Okay, that's that's where we are right now. Okay. You think you think that the Lord has left his people. He has not left or forsaken his people. He let Pharaoh, he let Pharaoh show his power so he can make it that much more beautiful on bringing him down. That's right. He can show all his power on bringing him down. He let him get up so high, okay? Without anybody coming up and contesting him, okay? No, no, these other nations, they don't want no smoke with Esau, okay? But now the Lord said what? I have made thee small among the heathen, okay? The, the, let the weak say that I am strong, okay? Because the same power that he gave to Esau, he gave to these smaller nations now, okay? And they're not scared. Yeah. Get that right oh. quick. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 5 and 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him. Exactly, because we couldn't do this. We couldn't do this 100 years ago, you know. Stand out here and talk about the damn, calling Esau the damn devil, okay? Right to their face. We couldn't do this. All right, but now the Lord is making, he has made a way because this is the time of the prophecies coming to an end. A story has to have an end and it can't go on forever one way, okay? And it says, um, before the face of such have afflicted him and made no account of his labors. They make no account of what the, all the things, like we built up America and constantly building up America, okay? They fired us from being the builders, the, the, the so-called Negroes. Okay, now they have the, 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 the uh, Northern Kingdom building up America. Okay, they do all the construction. All right, go ahead. When they see it, they shall be troubled. They, they're gonna be troubled when they see the men of the Lord standing up on their feet. Okay, they're gonna be troubled, wondering, oh wow, how did they find this out? Okay, we paid all this money to make them not remember this. Psalms 80, 83, uh, okay? They have taken crafty counsel against our people. They have said, let us come together and make the name of Israel be no more in remembrance, man. That's, that was a conscious effort, okay? Yeah. And it says, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation. Yeah, exactly, because when those, those chariots those so-called UFOs, when they come into view, and when they come and, and, and beam up the elect, they're gonna be amazed. They're gonna be, what? Go ahead, let, let gonna, the scripture speak. You're gonna feel that in your spirit. Oh yeah. You know, your creator is here. Oh, you gonna feel that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you gonna feel that. And shall be amazed at the strangers of his salvation for so far beyond all that they look for. Right, they look for us to just stay down on the bottom and, and, and constantly fight and kill each other, you know, how they set it up to be, you know, give us give us uh, very little resources so we don't have to fight over it, okay? Take away our nationality so we, we fight among each other not knowing that we're, we're uh, kinsmen, we're brothers, okay? It kind of reminds me like a, like a type of like a movie where the bad guy just beat up the guy, he's like, ugh, ugh, and the, 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 the good guy just keeps getting up like, ugh, ugh. That's, that's Jake, man. Jake keep getting up, and these, these devils like, damn. At the end, <laughs> when we get up to defeat them, they're like, oh, oh when we go up in them chariots, home willing with those men, they gonna be like, oh. It's something that happens. It's something that happens to where a good guy is rejuvenated. It's something oh, that yeah. happens that saves the day. Yeah. yeah. What's going to save the day for us? Yeah, how we shot. That's right. The return of our Lord. That's yeah. going to be the, the hero in our story. Yeah. He's the hero in our story. He's going to turn our spirit up. Okay? Mm -hmm. Like he turned our spirit down now, he's going to turn it up. That's right. Let's think of those uh, Rocky movies. Yeah. You know, Rocky always getting pounded, but somehow he's rejuvenated. Yep. He comes back, you know? And it says, and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for. And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit. Yeah, their spirit is going to be bad. 
because they're going to realize they know right now that they're not the people. But it's going to really sink in to them that they're not the people of the Lord and that the Lord is not for them and that the Lord is coming to destroy them. Okay? That's going to really sink in. Facts. And it says... It's not going to be no... It's not going to be no question on who's who. You're going to see the Lord. You're going to see the angels. You're going to see men getting saved. You know? It's going to take for us being beamed up for them to realize they fucked up. Well, it's going to take the Lord coming back. Yeah, the Lord coming back. It says, They repented and groaned for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, This is he whom we had sometimes in derision. Exactly. They have us in derision right now. Okay? As a people, we are all in derision, man. We can't do anything but what they say. Okay, we got when 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 uh, 2020 hit and those mandates came out, what did our people have to do? They had to go along with it. Okay? They were they were given no options, even though they had an option if they believed in the Lord, but those are the ones that didn't believe in the Lord. Go ahead. Because they wanted access to this world. Yep. That's how they got you. You connected yep. to this world, so he cut off the access to this world. You're willing to do whatever to get your shit back. So it's going to be no different with the mark. You're going you're gonna, to you're gonna yearn for this world. The little BS that he gives you. Mm -hmm. And that's how you're going to be the solution. Yep. You have, that's the problem. You have been made comfortable in a mediocre or a, or a not even mediocre, a in a lower estate. Yeah, you have been comfortable in a prison. In man. a prison. Uh, okay. You can't do anything without consent from from your master or the the uh, who did the warden. The warden, yeah. Okay. It says and a proverb of reproach. A proverb of reproach. They still call they they still around here calling us so, the so-called N word. Okay, uh, 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 beaners. Any derogatory term they can think of. Everything. Just the fact they call us black. Right, black. Okay. Right. It don't get no worse than that. Exactly. The shirt's black, not your skin. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm and, brown, homie. Right. And the the, the, the meaning of that word. Yep. The okay. vibration of that the word. The vibration. Yeah. Because okay. you like you got the black sheep. You got a you got a uh, black uh, male. Black male. Okay. Black plague. Right. Black death. Black death. Oh. Okay, yeah. everything black is negative. Okay, no, but no, everything no, no, no. white, black. Where, which they're not, they're red. Okay, they try to put that, they try to put that on themselves, calling themselves white, pure, undriven. Okay, yeah, you, have a, you have a white lie. Yeah, yeah. oh, that's just a little white lie. Yeah, it's a, it's a, okay, it's an okay lie. Nah, all lies are foul. Exactly. Right? That's them uh, turning the things upside down, man. That's a pretty right. woman right there, man. Mary. Yeah. I like her, man. Me too. Oh, yeah. Huh? Me too. And, and it says... Like tattoos. Um, Big-ass calves. <laughs> Ooh. She's on uh, everything else. <laughs> pretty dope. Yeah. So, okay. verse, verse 4. We fools accounted his life madness and his end. That's, that's how they look at us, man. Mm -hmm. And it don't help that we are all in the ghettos graffiti everywhere and drugs everywhere where we live at. It don't help nothing, but hey, that's the Lord that brought us down to his lowest faith. Yep. But they count our lives madness. That's why they don't have no value for your life. Yep. You kill a nigga, it's another nigga dead. Who cares? Exactly. So what? You know? Or well, like, uh, it wasn't, it wasn't a, a Jake who said this to, but uh, it was a cop that ran over that one girl in Seattle. She was 26. Like a Elon from India, and uh, in the video he was caught saying, "Well, it's okay. 26. She's, you know, her life. Yeah, I see matter. that. Her, her life. It's just worth eleven thousand dollars. You know, it's nothing. He, you know, just you know. He said some. I can't quote word for word, but he was basically saying that she, she's just useful. Right. So he, if he saw that towards her being an even, how much us? Oh yeah. You know." How much? They, 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 they despise us. Right. They, it's like looking at a roach when they see us. Like, uh, I think it was, um, uh, 
city over there in Long Beach. It's not the Long Beach Police Department. It's another uh, police department, but they were basically caught in text messages how they, they want to hook black people, kill black people. You know, racist people calling them you know, niggas and all that. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's not, that's not nothing new, you know? Yeah. They stay on the hump of Jake. Oh, yeah. But the table's going to turn, okay? The curses are going, uh, Deuteronomy 30 and 7, the curses are going to turn around, okay? And all our enemies are going to face the the, the, uh, the repercussions and consequences of touching the apple of his eye, okay? So, go ahead. So Ezekiel 35 and 5, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord Power, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Sith thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Yeah, blood's gonna pursue you now because you took vengeance out on his people. Yeah, he gave you the, the right, the sword to come against his people for a period of time. But like it says, when they're, when they're uh, read that little part, when their time was over, when the punishment was up, you furthered the affliction, man. You kept it going, you know? Go well, read that again. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. It had an end. The Lord said, okay, that's enough. But did y'all stop? Did y'all stop hanging us? Did y'all stop killing us? Did y'all stop doing anything to us? No, you didn't do that. You kept it going. You're keeping it going. You're still doing it today. Still doing it to this day. There's nothing to turn on the news and see another black person, so-called black person, dead by the hands of a, a so-called white person. And then they call it suicide. Exactly. Well, Jake, that's not in Jake's spirit hmm. to go hang themselves. Yeah, like that dude Tupac, he said, I just wanted somebody to kill me for me. And he wanted to die, but he couldn't, he didn't have, to, you know, have that spirit to kill himself. Exactly. So he said he just wanted someone to kill him for him. That's crazy, right? Yeah, he tried to kill himself on his sword. He got his armor bear, right? No, it was an Amalek. He asked his armor bear, but his armor bear is like, I can't do it. Amalek that came and killed him. Mm -hmm. Finished him off. Yeah. And it says, um, I he was already wounded, right? Verse 4. Yeah, he yeah. was already wounded. We fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. Yeah, they don't think we're the honorable people of Yahweh by Shem Shai because of the way that they. They have treated us, the, the conditions that they put us in, okay, putting our back against the wall, all right? They don't think that the Lord has any regard for us, okay, because the Lord hasn't hasn't been dealing with us on a spiritual, high spiritual level for so long, okay? Go ahead. Hey, the Lord gonna put you to shame because he said he made a vessel unto honor. You asshole, talking about our lives gonna be without honor. Mm. The Lord going to uh, confound you, Esau. It says, uh, how he is numbered among the children of Yahweh Shimei Shai, and his lot is among the saints. See? All Israel shall, shall be saved, okay? But there's going to be an elect that's going to be saved in that day. Okay, you're going to watch that salvation, and you're going to be perplexed. You're going to be moaning and groaning for vexation of spirit. Your uh -huh. spirit is going to be so, it's going to be so distraught in you, okay? To whereas you're going to be moaning and groaning. You're going to be uttering words that your, your mouth can't say, that only your spirit can say, okay? It's going to be that bad. And you know, you're going to know that you're about to go into captivity. You and all of your people, all of you, and all of you heathen, man. That's right. All of you heathen, man. Single one of y'all. Kids to gray hairs. Damn. It doesn't matter because all of you have a disdain for us. And we don't do nothing but show you love. None of our people come to, to your nations 
and be all boastful and, and proud on you, okay? Trying to swindle you and, and uh, 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 take things from you. We don't do that, that's not our nature. But that's what you do to us, okay? You come in our neighborhoods, selling us all types of, of abominations, okay? Knowing that we're not supposed to eat that, all right? You do it with impunity, man, all right? It says, um, and his lot among the saints, therefore have we erred from the way of truth, and the light of righteousness had not shined unto us, and the sun of righteousness rose not upon us. Exactly. And that's when they're going to realize they're wicked as all hell. Like, hey, we're wicked. Yeah. Why they going up? Why we not going up? Okay? They're going to see it. They're going to see it when that giant fathership comes. Oh, yeah. You know? the whole sky, so everybody's going to see it. Everybody's going to see it. All eyes are going to see him. Exactly. Right. You know what scene come to mind when he was talking about how Esau going to be when, when he sees the Lord save us, Lord willing? Um, the the eat, um, Ten Commandments. You remember when uh, Pharaoh, he came down to the sea and the Lord split the sea? Minute, and the look on his face was like, oh, shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, they're going to have that. This, But this captivity is going to be, the, the salvation, rather, is going to be bigger than that. Yeah. Okay, when they see those chariots in the sky, the scriptures describes it as some people are going to give up the ghost on the sight. Men's hearts fell in them. Okay, that's how glorious it's going not, to be and terrifying. It's coming, just be looked at. Nah, they're coming, attacking. Exactly. Be in formation. So it's going to be terrifying off the sight, and they're attacking you. Oh, hell no. Yeah. Woo. It's going to be like uh, War of the Worlds. Remember that movie when they was hitting them with those lasers and they would turn it to puffs of smoke? Yeah. Okay? The Lord ain't playing when he come back, man. He's not playing. All right? Esau is getting it in right now. What, Revelation 12 and 12, he's coming down with that great wrath because he has, he know it. That's the thing. He know it. That he has but a short time. He knows. It's not like he don't know. He knows that we're at the end. That's why he's bringing his wrath. That's why he's trying to bring in his NWO real quick. In a hurry. All right? I got something. Go ahead, huh? so Isaiah 31 and 5. As birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. See, he's going to defend Jerusalem, man. You think we don't have a defense? You don't think that we have a power to fight for us? You think we're we're helpless? Okay, powerless? That's where you messed up. Okay, that's where you messed up thinking that the Lord somehow is on your side now because he's been letting you get away with all your devil men. Okay, he's not he's not um he's not looking upon your wickedness as, as if it's righteous. Right, he ain't rooting for you, man. Exactly. He actually hates you. Hey, shoot. Remember old, old, old baby earlier, we told her uh, that the Lord hates, man. Yeah. She said, hey. Yes, like you hey. said, we got a defense. Uh, when uh, Elijah told Elisha, there's more of them. Us. There's more, more us. Of, of us more than with them. Elisha told his servant. Elisha told his servant. Yeah. Like it. There's more of us than with them. All right? That's, hey. Lord and the angelic force, man, gonna yeah. outnumber. And they were there. But his eyes wasn't open to him, and, and, and uh, he prayed that the young man's eyes be open. And when the Lord opened his eyes, he seen he seen Ooh. the host of heaven yeah. right there. I'm like that. Let's say I already seen him. Right. Okay. But when he seen it, he was like, oh, yeah. yeah. What yeah. if in that day the Lord has us see a lot of things that people don't see, man? Yeah. You know? Exactly. Well, you're gonna be comforted, man. You're gonna, you ain't gonna be worried about Esau, man. Like it may be with your woman, your kids. She's all tripping. What's going on? You don't you see the whole thing. Like, we're good. Yep. We're good. We're the good. Lord said He was going to save us. I imagine our woman being in the same spirit we in. I mean, mm. like as in like, if we if we are faith and we're comforted, we ain't panicking. Mm -hmm. That's gonna ease them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? 
because it says a man shall be a hiding place from the wind. You, know, you got to be strong. Yeah. In order for them to look at you as a hiding place, as a rock to go to. I don't give a fuck if you look at me or not. I'm looking to the Lord. I can't exactly. save you, bitch. Exactly. I'm looking to the Lord to save me. So you can look to me all you want. My mind is on the Lord. Exactly. I was in a in an earthquake, right? In, in, in the bed with my little squeeze. And when the earthquake happened, the first thing she did was grab me. She grabbed me and helped me just start squeezing me with her hands. And I'm just sitting there, you know, praying to the Lord, like, Lord, I know you got this. You know what I'm saying? I'm not worried about this. You know, and I'm sitting there calm. And she's, she's frantic. Oh, 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 like that. Okay. But the, go ahead. The Lord, the Lord comforts us. As birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts to, uh, defend Jerusalem. Defending also, he will deliver it, and passing over, he will preserve it. So we don't have to defend ourselves. What did Daniel do? He didn't have to defend himself. The Lord came through for him. Same with those three holy children. Mm -hmm. All right, so the Lord going to come swoop in for us, man. All we got to do is keep the faith. That's it. All we got to do is trust in him, call on him, and, 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 and let it play out, man. It's going to be another Passover. Like like, like uh, it just said, yeah. passing over those, you know. The destruction is coming for the wicked, man. All right? It's uh, Psalm 62 and 5. It says, My soul waited thou only upon the Lord. For my expectation is from him. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. Right. Hey, so with the power of the Lord, man, we're going to be unmovable, man. You know, nothing's going to trouble us like the brother was saying, man. We're going to see disaster happening. But we're going to be praying until Yahweh Bashim Yahweh for him to deliver us, man. Keep us calm in that, you know, in, in, that, in that danger. All right? It says, in and the Lord is my salvation and my glory. The rock of my strength and my refuge is in the Lord. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh All right? Just the Lord alone. Nothing else. Not looking, looking for man, strength, weapons, anything. Just the Lord alone. Wow. One more. It says, trust in him at all times, ye people. Pour out your heart before him. That's Isaiah 62. Yeah. I know yeah, it's uh, Psalm 62, me. but it's yeah. quoting that, yeah. Oh, I said Isaiah, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Psalm 62, yeah, trust him at all times. That's yeah. Right. At all times, ye people, pour out your heart before him. The Most High is your refuge for us. All right? That's right. Pour, out, pouring out your heart before him is like casting out your, uh, casting your burdens. Yeah, so exactly. He's praying, praying, man. Praying. praying, right. You're not supposed to pour out your heart before Esau. Nah. Okay? Yeah, like how people uh, <laughs> normally do Fucking when a, when a, when a uh, tragedy happens. Yeah. They're looking to Esau. They look at the FEMA. FEMA. Yeah. And we say FEMA. Yeah. 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 <laughs> These Americans say okay. help. Not mama, FEMA. Yeah. FEMA! Okay? Help us. They writing on the rooftop, FEMA. Okay, help. Okay? Instead of looking to their power, Okay, because they haven't seen the Lord. Okay, the name of the Lord hasn't been on their front of, front of low. They're not trusting in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. But we're here to tell you that that's who you're supposed to put your trust in Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. He's, he's the only one can save you. He's the only one. There's only but one Savior. Okay, there's one name. Under heaven, that you can be saved. That's it. See how much you shot. It's Isaiah 54 and 17. No weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and the righteousness is of me, saith the Lord. Yeah, so nothing that this devil has cooked up is going to prosper, man, unless that's your lot die in the stick, man. For the most part, man, nothing's gonna touch you, bro. Angel's always there. Always. Chariots are there, man. Always. And maybe, hey, you may even get that spiritual power. No weapon for him against you, he's gonna cross you. The scripture says, whether we live or, or whether we die, we're shy. Exactly. We get the victory, Lord willing, for his elect. Either way, death or living. 
It's a win-win situation. It's a win-win. As win-win. they say. It's a double headquarter, all right? That's it. <laughs> heads is good. Clean heads. Okay? That's where we are. We're at the time where the Lord is going to show his, his miracles. Okay? He's going to bring his miracles to us. Okay? Just like he brought destruction to us. He's going to bring his miracles to us, man. Okay? And if you're of the elect, you just got to sit back and watch, man. Watch the Lord work. Watch him do his thing, man. And he's going to do it. Okay? The Lord is not a man that he should lie. All right? Every word in these scriptures is going to come to pass the way that it was stated to be. All right? Nobody can come in and change the will of the Lord. But because they think it should be another way, okay? Because they don't feel like the Lord should hate. He hates, what? Why the Lord hate? No, I don't think, uh -uh, I can't even do that, oh no. You know, the Lord don't care how you feel. Your thoughts are not the most highest thoughts. Your ways are not his ways. We're seeking that which please the most high, okay? All right, Bruce, uh, Isaiah 41, uh, and 10, fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee, yeah, I will help thee. Yeah, I will uphold thee with thy, with the righteousness, our right hand of my righteousness. So the Lord said he's gonna help us, and that help will come in so many forms. In so many forms. It could be spiritual power, it could be angel, it could be yeah. anything, man. Anything, because Esau could come at you at any way. Anyway, you never know how Esau is coming, man. All right? But the Lord could come at you anyway as well. He's the one who led Esau. Man's going to the Lord. The it's Lord's the one who, who, who uh, sets Esau up to put those things on you, yeah, man. It's a test, man. It's, it's a get grabbed up. It's a test. Well, it he said the, the Lord could come at you anyway. Remind me of the story you always bring out with Tobias. Oh, man. Beautiful. He came at us. An angel as a man. You mean help? Yeah, as a help. help. Yeah. He could he could have just healed um uh, Tobias' father from heaven, man. Well, he's the one that blinded him. Yeah. Toby didn't have to get blinded. Yeah, come, come. But the Lord, you know, is he come with the dramatics. Yeah, he can. You know? Up, up close and personal, that's how he came with it with the angel. Oh yeah. Know? Damn. And they could be like that with you. Yeah. You could be in a concentration camp, an angel in there with you. Wow. You think it's just another Jake? He an angel, man. Yeah. And he's like, man, look, we need a, we need a, I got a way, I got a, I got a plan to get out of here, man. <laughs> and, and, and the spirit's on you to trust it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And then at the end of it all, he's like, man, I am, I am, <laughs> I got Michael. Michael. I am Zabari Allah, you yeah. know? Yeah. Hey, hey, Michael, Michael said, uh, not Michael. Oh, grab it, Daniel. Grab it. Michael yeah. gonna stand up for his people. Ooh. Exactly. Let's, yeah. Hey, then, 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 uh, then that angel walked Peter out of prison. Yeah. So you gotta think like that. I mean, we all we automatically think like that. Yeah. Oh, you know, we, uh, freaks. Netflix. Ooh. That was bad, bro. That was I dope. Thought I was able to get the mom out of prison. I she was able to control them guards. Yeah. That shit was dope, bro. That can I gotta happen. watch that again. Yeah. Hey, that was that can happen. The Lord can have it where uh, he sends the angel to control the guard and help you out, man. Hey, bro, it's, exactly. it's, it's, it's limitless, man. Yeah. The possibilities are limitless, man. Hey, in the times of Gideon, when, when he lit those, those torch and the men started killing each other. What did the scripture say? The most high's arm is not too short. That he can save. That he can save. You know man. how to deliver the godly. That's it. The Lord got blind men. Remember that? Remember Lot? Remember Elisha? The Lord got blind a whole army. Yeah. You know, like, come on, man. The Lord can have you walk by them and they don't even see you. Oh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's no, there's no uh, a limit yeah. to what the Lord could do. This is his creation. This is his people. This is everything belongs to him. What is that? Uh, Proverbs. The Lord has made all things unto himself, yeah. even the wicked for the day of evil. Sure. Let you know that he's going to use the wicked. Okay, he's going to use the wicked against the wicked. Yeah. That's right. You can't, can't limit the Most High to him just repeating miracles that he's already done. We don't know what the Lord's got in 
asked for, right? No, the our people cry for water. What did the Lord make water come out of? A rock. He could have brought them to a stream and dig yeah. a well. He brought it out of a rock. That's bro. to show his power. That's the beauty of it. <laughs> That's the beauty they were, of it. They were annoying him, too. Yeah. He was mad at them. He's still getting the water to drink, food to eat. Yeah. Uh, yeah, get it. Book of Daniel 12 and 1. And at that same time, Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation. Right, we know we know a few names of the angels. We know, you know, Mike, uh, Uriel, Gabriel, Uriel. Uh, you know, we know different names, but the scripture says innumerable amount of angels. Yeah. So it don't have to be one that we know, you know. Ooh. It could be your personal guardian angel, and his name is who knows what, man. His name could be Siwan, you know. Oh, snap. Imagine it's the same name. It could be your name, you know. I, oh, I am no. I am Isaria, you know. Exactly. It could be Ibaja, you know. Yeah. You know anything, man. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that won't be a trip, though. Yeah. <laughs> he got the same name as you. <laughs> He's your twin. <laughs> you know how JB called us one, a hey, twin? Yeah. He's your twin. He's your righteous twin. Hey, that would be a trip, bro. Yeah. What the hell, man? <laughs> that would be cool, though. Hey, y'all looks like you and shit. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Damn, that would be, that'd, that'd be something else, boy. It's not that old. Uh, it says... It and at that time shall Michael stand up. Quote it, quote it, quote that blue. Oh, this is Daniel 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. Okay, and that great prince is a mighty angel, mighty, mighty angel, uh, archangel Michael being the head angel. Okay? So you think he coming by himself? He's not coming by himself, you know. That's the head. He bringing them all. Okay, he bringing all the angels with him. It's going to be their time to show out. Okay, show how they how they um, do the will of the Lord. Yeah, okay. I think of them like, like, uh, like Transformers. Man. I mean, of course, not the cars and all that, but just how they were just, their mission is just saving those people, man. Terminator. Or protecting them, or Terminator, just protecting yeah. them. So it's like that, man. I mean, use your imagination, man. It's just you can't see them. I can't see them, man. It says, And there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since. There was a nation even to that same time. Hey, so in that time, uh, the angelical force is going to stand up for us. Yeah. You know? That's what that's supposed to inspire. Like, we're going hey, to need help, man. We're going to need divine help. And the top angel is going to help us. Mm -hmm. And we all going to be calling on the name of the Lord at the same time. Mm -hmm. No matter what situation you're in, you're going to be calling on the Lord. You better be calling on the Lord. You know? And the Lord, you think the Lord is going to just ignore us? He said, what? They shall call They shall call on my name. And he said, I'm going to hear them. And was okay. that Psalm 91? This could be Psalms 91 and the one in, um, the one in uh, 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 Zechariah 13. Now, get out get of Psalm 91. Because uh, mentions that. Yeah, I remember Yahushua told him, ask anything in my father's name and you shall receive it. Yeah. Just like when we uh doing a day of atonement fast. We all praying to the Lord at the same time. Ooh. The Lord hears that, man. Or when we do the new New Year's Eve of destruction, the Lord hears that, mm -hmm. man. Hey, like, uh, or the Passover. Mm -hmm. Or the party of Allah. Uh, he told uh, Tobit, Tobias that his prayer was always heard. Like he was always there. He presents his prayers to the uh, he saw to the all, He saw all his good works. Yeah, Tobit, yeah, he saw what he was doing. Yep. He said, yeah. I was there when this happened. I was there when I was there when y'all both was praying. That's important to remember, man. That's yeah, because a prayer is, you know, is a, is a, is a, is a, is a fake show. Because it looks like, like with, uh, with Eli, when he saw Hannah, Thought, Eli thought he was, she was drunk in the temple, but she was, she was praying. It looks like she was talking to herself. I mean, when you pray, it looks like you're talking to yourself. You're really not talking to yourself. You're talking to the Most High. 
Right. Satan will have you think you ain't talking to nobody. Right. Satan how you think you that the most high don't hear you. It's just empty words. Yeah. yeah. He'll, he'll say he'll make you think that the most high don't hear you, but that's how you know he hears you. Yeah. That coming into your mind, uh, he's yep. hearing you. It's a battle. You know, you just gotta have faith. You know? Hey, the Lord is always there. There's not a time when he's not there. Okay? I got that Psalm 91. This is uh, Psalm 91 and 14. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he had he had known my name. Uh-oh. The Lord said he will give us his give us the pure language back so we can call upon his name and what we want to sit. Yeah. So he wants us to call upon his name. When I hear that name, you hunger, I cringe. Okay, who is that? Okay, we gonna get the name when we get in the kingdom. What? We need How you gonna now? get saved? Yeah. yeah. We need to know. Exactly. Uh, we have it now. Yeah. We have it now. It says, he shall call upon me and I will answer him. Yep. See, the, the same thing in Zechariah 12 chapter. They shall call upon my name and I shall hear them. Mm -hmm. you know? sure. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With I will be with him in trouble, man. Yeah. What time is coming? Jacob's, Jacob's trouble. trouble. The Lord said he will be with us, man. I just read in Isaiah, he said, Don't, he said, fear not. I, I am with thee. I will strengthen mm -hmm. thee. I will help thee. And the Lord's help ain't man's help. You know, we're talking about the ultimate power here, man. So if the Lord helping you, he can send an angel. He, got, he can send signs to comfort you. Yeah. You know, anything, man. It's, it's going, everything's going to be heightened. Spirituality is going to be heightened, man. Oh, yeah. So, hey, if you got to think like, oh, man, an angel going to talk to me, man. Hey, it's just like uh, that scene in, uh, in Independence Day, the first one, when they was talking about the chariot, that they, the one they so-called abduct they got. They said, yeah, ever since the, the mothership came in, this one, the, all the lights came on and everything, you know what I'm saying? Since it was since it was in view, the, the spirit of this one, it, it uh, turned up, just like the brother was saying. When the Lord comes back, every spirit gonna know your Creator. Okay, is 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 near. Okay. Yeah. And the day of evil, like Ben said, the Lord gonna turn our spirits up, bro, to the max. Man, the max, I mean, we just gonna be, man, just imagine imagine the excitement you gonna have. It's all going when it finally goes down, man. Because you when you're waiting for something and it actually happens, mm. oh man. Hey, Just face. like when you're waiting to get off work, right? You're looking at the clock, all right, three more hours, two, <laughs> three, two more hours, one more hour. You get off work, you get that little boost, like yeah. man, finally off work. You know, you're driving and shit. You know, you get that little boost. Yeah. Because you finally off. You've been waiting on it. So when it comes, and it, you know, of course these people are gonna be. In shambles, they're going to be all messed up in the head. Yeah. But we're going to be like, man, the Lord about to come, man. Give a fuck what it looks like. I might, you might be in a concentration camp. Well, the Lord about to come, man. It's all good. You know, we're about to be in the kingdom. Right. We know what's coming, man. We know what's going to happen on the, on the other side. Yeah. It's just a matter of the Lord having mercy on you or not. Hey, it reminds me of me, John C. C. It says that your sour, your sour shall turn into joy. Yeah. Man. That's going to be the part, uh, first part of it. Yeah. The Lord is coming to wipe all tears away from our eyes, man. We're constantly crying in this place, man. We might not physically cry, but your soul is moaning and groaning for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai to come back, man. The spirit is crying. The spirit. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, Seeing everything it. happen and that you have no control over, but you know it's wrong, and that Esau is doing it against you because he know that the Lord hasn't bestowed any power upon you. You just get waves of anger, man. Waves of depression in this thing, man. You know, you just, sometimes you just down. Oh. Not down like the whole day, but you just, it just it just hits you at times like that, exactly. man. Still fucking here, man. Yeah. That's a part of being a soldier, man. I think it here is uh, Psalms 91 and 16. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Right. So 
hey, that's it at the end of the day. Like the brothers are going into, man, that salvation, man. All right, being delivered out of here. All right. Yep. You know, being saved from the destruction, all right? So that, that, that's what we hope for, and that's what we long for, man. All right. I got a precept. It's going back to the, the prayers. It's uh, Revelation 8 3. And another angel came and stood at the altar, having a golden censer. And there was given unto him much incense, that he should offer it with the prayers of all the saints upon the golden altar, which was before the throne. And the smoke of the incense, which came with the prayers of the saints, descended up before the Most High out of the angel's hand. So when you pray in that name, man, you pray, you think you're talking to yourself, you're not. The angel's taking that prayer right up to the Most High, man. And since it's like sweet incense, huh? Hey, when you have incense and stuff like that, you always want it to burn. Our, pray our prayers are constantly in, in front of you. I'll bite you now, shine, man. Yeah, and incense is a pleasant smell. Like the, the prayers are pleasant unto the Lord because He's know that you're dependent on Him. You're coming to Him. You ain't going to evil E. Okay. You're not trusting in evil E, man. You're trusting in Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shine. That's what the Lord wants. He wants you to trust in him. Okay? It's gonna please him to to save you. Okay? Yeah. You even had uh, the most high that told our people that they have burned incense to other gods. Yep. Not just physically burning incense, but praying to other gods. Oh yeah. You know? Yeah. Which which, which you no know, gods but the most high because other gods that are out there are nothing but idols. Right. JC, the main one. Okay. Right. Our people are that's a stronghold. Even when you when you explain that this is the Lord and this is what he looks like, okay, our people still have a problem with that. Because it's it's seared in their mind. Okay. Oh, got it, bro? Yeah, Nahum one and seven, the Lord is good. A stronghold in the day of trouble, mm. and he knoweth them that trust in him. Exactly. How does he know them? By prayer. There you go. The incense is constantly in front of him. I know of the elect. Yeah, the elect. <laughs> it says the name of the Lord is a righteous tower. Okay. And those that fear him, how it go? The righteous, the run, righteous into run into it, and it's safe. You. Okay. So it's important the name. You have to know the name. The name is not it's not uh, taken away from us, and we don't have the name. Okay, we have the name, and we have the name for a reason for us to call on it when we're in trouble, man. The name is a part of the state. It, it's the main part. Yeah, it's everything. You know? This is our deliverer. You know, he's our creator. We have to know his name. You know. The name is everything. That's the whole foundation of the truth, man. Along with faith. You know? That's one of the first things you learn. Knowing the name. Yeah, that's the foundation. The Howard Shai is the cornerstone. Okay? Upon that corner, everything else is going to be level and plumb. Okay? You can build up from that. Right. Okay? That's, that's, how your, that's how your faith should be built up on Yahweh Bashi and Yahweh Shai. Okay? Uh, just going back in prayer, it says, uh, Rejoice in the Lord always. Uh, this is uh, Philippians chapter 4, verse 4. It says, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say, Rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known unto the Lord. All right, you know, that starts off with knowing the names, like the brothers are saying, man. All right, we're supposed to pray and contact Yahweh Bashem Yahweh All right, with everything. All right. It says, because your life, your life belongs to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Everything you do is going toward either being saved or being destroyed. Yeah. Okay. It says, uh, and verse seven, and the peace of the Most High, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Yahweh Shai and Mashiach. So hey, through prayer, that's how we keep, you know, tapped in, you know, in the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. All right. That's why when you see uh, dudes that fall off, man, 
That, that's really because, you know, they were praying, man. Hey, the Lord ultimately didn't want them, but it starts off with them, you know, losing that connection. All right? Yeah. Zechariah chapter 13, verses 8. And it shall come to pass in all the land, said the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die. That land is speaking of America, okay? And, and two-thirds is speaking of the nation of Israel, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that are over here in this land right now. There's an influx of uh, Israelites coming into this land right now to either be saved or to be destroyed, man. Okay? I mentioned that earlier. Oh, yeah? That's why all of them migrating here. Yeah, exactly. And it says... Man's uh, going out the Lord. Yeah. <laughs> bring them all in. Yeah. Mm, hey, bring them in. That's yeah. good. Says the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. The third is the elect. Yeah. And it says... And it will bring the third part. Wait, wait, let's say it again. And I will bring, I will bring the third part through the fire. How the Lord is going to bring the third part through the fire? With his angels, ushering, ushering them, giving them, giving them uh, the right mind, telling them where to go, telling them what to do, telling them, oh, stay here for a second, okay? Just like a person, you know, on a movie, and somebody's, See, has a camera somewhere, oh, and, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it'll hide behind the desk, dip down right quick. They're coming this way, okay? Go to your left, yeah. go to your right, you know? The Lord, is, the Lord is the ultimate director, like the brother said. That's it, yeah. okay? And that's what's going to be happening. The Lord is going to direct the elect through all the turmoil and the, the, uh, the crises. And it says, um, I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined. This is a refining process. The Lord is making his, his elect perfect, man. Taking out all the impurities, man. Purging. Okay? Man, and it says, and it will try them as gold is tried. Gold is tried what? In the fire. The fire of the furnace of affliction. Okay? We're all going through the fire right now. The Lord be putting things on us all, all the time, every day. Okay? But it's how you handle it. Okay? And it says, they shall call on my name. They, they shall, shall call on my name. They shall call on my name. And, and I will hear them. And I will hear them. The Lord is going to hear the one-third of his people when they call on his name. And it says they will call yeah. on his name. Okay? He's going to hear men down on earth. Yahweh Shimei Oshai. Yahweh Shimei Oshai. They ain't exactly. going to hear men on the earth while the world is, is going through it. Jesus Christ bless. I got to hear. The Lord going to only hear men calling on his proper name, man. Back for deliverance. Yeah, the angel ain't gonna take up no Jesus Christ bless. You know? <laughs> What's that? The angel yeah. wanna smack they butt, man. Yeah, yeah. That's what the angels wanna do. Okay? Because you know the name, and you're not pushing the name, you know how the Lord feel about his name. If somebody call you out of your name, you'll be madder than a pit bull in the hubcap factory, as they say. Okay? You'll be mad. And you'll if they constantly do it, they constantly do it, man. I told you my name, man. I didn't. I didn't told you my name. Don't call me out my name no more. Call me by my name, okay? Birdman even said, "Put some respect on his name," okay? That's it for. Let's, uh, let's go to Matthew twenty-four. Matthew twenty-four. We're just gonna read. Finish reading. You want me to jump to a, to a point? I don't know, bro. I'm asking you. What you talking about? Let's start at 36. It's uh, Matthew 24 and 36. But of that day and hour knoweth no man. No, not the angels of heaven, but the Father only. 
But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Hey, even though none of us know the, the day, the hour, the time, we're still preaching that the Lord is going to come, like He's going to come tomorrow. Yes. You know, we're still preaching to you that He is going to come. There's got to be that sense of urgency, man. You know, like uh, I think the Apostle Paul said, you know, uh, uh, we persuade men, you know, through through the fear of the Lord. Or if we paraphrase it. By the terrors of the By Lord. By the terrors of the Lord, yeah. We persuade men. Yeah. It says, verse 38, For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark. Hey, that's the biggest thing in America right now. People hooking up, couples hooking up, everybody sleeping with everybody. Nobody could find uh, uh, um, uh, happiness, love, and all that. Everybody's just fucking each other, man. You know, everybody's eating burgers with them near uh, 99 cents. KFC, Popeye is dropping new food. That's the spirit that's in the world right now, especially in America. Yeah. It says, uh, Verse 40, or uh, Salakia, verse 39. And knew not until the flood came and took them all away. When did they know it? Hey, until the Lord shut down the doors. And it says, and knew not until the flood came. And hey, that's when these people going to know, man. When the Lord comes back, that's when these people going to know, man. When the Lord brings the destruction, nuclear destruction, that's when they going to know. It says, and took them all away. So shall the coming of the Son of Man be. Yep, and that's why Paul quoted it. It's the Lord's coming as a thief in the night. When you least expect it, when you least want him to, when you're not thinking about him, that's when the Lord is going to come back. And take them all away. Okay, all right. you people are the walking dead. Yeah. All right, you're the walking dead. The Lord has already spoken it. America, if you're not part of the elect, you're dead already. And it's going to be by painful fire, okay? And other, and Jacob's trouble, and other things that the Lord has. Don't forget about the apparitions. The Lord going to scare your ass to death, okay? Don't forget about those things that the Lord has. Let's hold it, brother. Okay, oh, go ahead. Real, let's finish. Uh, it's jumping down to uh, 44. It says, therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think not, the Son of Man coming. And right now, we're 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 in the spirit of uh, being ready for the Lord. All right, nobody else is. They don't want the Lord to come back. So, you know, be ye therefore ready. All right, but Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. And uh, through the Spirit, giving all praises to Yahweh. Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakudash. Till next time, shalom. Shalom.